Hello, oh, and super strong. Okay, <laughs> even my birthday, you know. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what? I thought, was, I thought it was Winfield and Tommy's birthday. It's me and Tommy's 50th birthday! Hi, everybody! We're Who needs 50. some help on their taxes? And I, uh, it's just you! I'm a tenured professor! If you need help with your essay, you can ask me. Turbo tax, schmerbo tax. Call dad. <laughs> I've got it. I won't be very helpful, though. And I'll probably recommend some shitty sources. For this 50 year old ass. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. <laughs> anyway, welcome to Party Dungeon. This is Dungeon like Party. Cole, We're 50. Yay. We're 50. We're 50. We're 50. We're 50. Like the year old Blake is just curfly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> What? I feel like like 50 year old, like old man ass is like a deflated balloon, you know? <laughs> I'm not going to disagree with you on that. Michael, well, you got to you gotta, gotta keep your ass in maintenance. <laughs> I do really... ass maintenance. In any case, it's the 50th episode of Bright Futures! Whoa! <gasps> oh, I get it. <laughs> no one's excited about this. <laughs> I get it, yay! <laughs> I, I, this is a big deal! We've done 50 episodes of this campaign, you guys! All right, none of you fucking give a shit about that at all. Whatever. It's my. Like it's I my, celebrated off camera. It's my sixth episode of Bright Future, That's so true. I don't get to celebrate. <laughs> yeah, like if you think about it, since like there's three episodes that I like, one is just Phoenix, one is just me, and one is um uh, the other three. Like we've all we've all only done forty nine. You've done fifty. Well, now that the wind <laughs> is out of my sails. <laughs> <laughs> would um is uh All right. I, I guess announcements 20, 24 truths and a lie go no <laughs> what um, you're saying we're not in the spirit it's okay. i'm trying to get in the spirit why 24 truths and a lie because i thought you said you're 25 oh yes so i'm 25 sorry you have to add up <laughs> i i was thinking 50 because it's the 50th episode and it's yeah and I'm I also 25, but so then yeah, more about that. Also 25. Tommy and I are the <laughs> no same age. No one on this chat can complain about age. I've got you all. I've got you all beat. Um. Hey, 27 never looked so good. That's real nice. Who was that to? Was that to Chelsea? <laughs> Okay. Um, anyway, I have some announcements I'd like to make. First of all, it's the 50th episode of Right Futures, which I think is really exciting. Um, second off, it's the second episode of Resilient Shadows tomorrow, so you guys should come watch that shit, um, because the first episode was a banger, so come come check it An out. An all-timer. An all-timer. Yeah. An all-timer. <laughs> Not an old timer, an all timer. What does that mean? <laughs> Are you guys gonna dress up like babies? You don't want an all timer, me? Yeah, we could do that. One of the all time greats. Let me tell you about the all time greats. Cassius Clay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Um, that's all my announcements, though. Uh, does anybody else have any announcements they'd like to make or cherish bits they'd like to celebrate? <laughs> It's time for another round of What's Chelsea Playing? Wait, wait, can we send our um, uh, our, our predictions in the chat? Yeah, Okay. everybody send your predictions in the, the predictions chat. Predictions in the chat. <laughs> I think I have a prediction. I will wait, I will wait. I'm not gonna send it in the chat though, cause I don't those have an easily accessible ones. keyboard. I mean, those are the good <laughs> ones, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm throwing I'm throwing a curveball. Right, I'm gonna go home right. with these. All the money's all right. on the line. Mar all Mario right. too. The best all game right. of all time I hear. Um now, uh longtime fans of this <laughs> beloved broadcast will understand that sometimes you need a break. So wow. therefore, Chelsea honestly played nothing oh. this week. Oh, oh we were all I wrong. Sometimes you fall asleep really early on a Wednesday night, which is usually your gaming night. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, Blake, but... take away all our channel points. You that <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll, make a, say, I'll make a note for peeps. I will say this week was full of a lot of previews for Lego Star Wars. 
and I am so fucking excited. I'm not even a huge Star Wars fan. I'm just a huge Lego fan. Lego Star Wars. The games and the product. Listen, and Le Lego Star Wars has a better track record than Star Wars. Oh, Yo, easily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. That's um, awesome. Can we, can we recanonize Brazilian been... Shadows to be a Lego Star Wars D&D campaign? I like that, yeah. I'm in you want to apply for and when you, wait, so, when you die, so when you die, you just, you just lose a thousand gold? <laughs> <laughs> and pop <laughs> apart <laughs> viscerally. <laughs> Wilhelm scream plays and your body explodes. <laughs> you, you need that. You need the uh, computer character that d never does what you want it to do. Yeah. <laughs> in the puzzles, always in the wrong place, <laughs> never fighting. Um, oh my gosh! Are you trying I'm... to call? Are you trying to call out a player who uh, is never? In the... No, no, like the computer run character. <laughs> no, I know, but oh, which well, one of us is gonna be that? Because he should play with you. <laughs> oh, that's true too, guys. Guys, everyone, next time Phoenix is on this uh, channel, you have. I want you. Yeah. I want you yeah, to- There's never a guarantee. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if we let him back. So if it's Lancer, if it's whatever, I want you to flood the chat with, hey, have you played a Lego game with Chelsea yet? Please. We will. Please. We can my my birthday is next month and that's all I want. I can guilt him. Jess and I started playing Kirby together today. I, we can, we, no, we can okay, but it needs to be a Lego game, Peter. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm saying just, wow, you're not co-oping with your girlfriend? What the heck, man? <laughs> wow. Couples we'll that game you know, together that stay man, together. That man always says, I wanted to find a game for us to play together. He introduces me to Minecraft. He leaves me alone in the woods to get lost. <laughs> yeah. He introduces, I... me, he introduces me to Portal. He says, I don't know, figure it out. <laughs> I can attest to the fact that playing Minecraft with Phoenix is a nightmare. <laughs> Having done that myself. <laughs> he let a raid on my encampment for no reason. <laughs> One time, one time I was playing, um, I was playing, I think, Mario 3D World with Jess, and she was upset I was getting all the collectibles before her, like the stamps and the stars and stuff. She was like, I can't get any of them, and I was like, okay, so I ran to one and stopped, and I was like, okay, here, you can get this one, and then she called me a simp. Uh, <laughs> That's all I want, though. I want a little bit of simpage. I could, I could just get a little bit of simpage just from a, my boyfriend. Just a fraction of simpage. Please. I, I'm playing. I'm, I'm more playing. Baited than in that moment. <laughs> I'm playing. It takes two with my girlfriend. Soon, baby. I promise. No. I, yeah. Soon. Soon. Yeah, we will. It'll be great. Isn't it cute how we can do this together? Because Phoenix is never gonna see it. Uh, so. Cheating, cheating. <laughs> <laughs> this has been another round of what Chelsea playing. If you guessed games with Phoenix's heart, that's right. That's what I'm playing. <laughs> Thank you for getting that link. <laughs> All right, I have one final announcement. Everybody kept telling me I had to do something special on my birthday. And I can't think of a more special thing than playing a D&D with my good, good friends. That's sincere. Well, I know I that mean, sounded like a planned oh. bit, but that was a Notice sincere how thing. Notice Phoenix isn't included. Nah, I wish she was here. I oh. I wish she was. <laughs> I but... was about to be mean, but then he hey, said it's... it was sincere. Yeah. It's it's soon. He's almost done. Well, I mean, don't tell, don't tell him. I mean, in the next few months. <laughs> Fuck. I'm not going to... Also, as a birthday present for myself, I'm not gonna fucking reroll my HP today. Fuck you. Nice. Um, we're gonna play D and D though. Are you guys ready? You don't know what I've you're been, in a for. I've been waiting to wait. I know. I saw that off the screen there a little bit. Um. So, last time on Bright Futures, our crew made their way back finally to the Hagen Estate. Um, where they had a little bit of a welcome back party that Tether left and also Everett also left. Did you? Oh, what are those? Sorry. <laughs> they're, they're not new. They just, I just showed they're them. They're nice. I'm showing um, them you polish them? them? No. Anyway, they had an okay time at their little party. Um, and the next day, uh, most of them went up into town. Shanti hung out, um, just did some chores. Um, 
headed up into town, um, tether to go spend the day as Isla um, with her friends, getting a date to Arlith Favilar's big uh, big bash that night. Meanwhile, Una, Septon, and Everett um, made their way to Felfret College to check on a couple of items, see if they were cursed or not. Um, Forgot to go back and get that. He, they're not. Left. They're not done yet. He he has to contact you about it. Yeah. I feel yeah. like it's always Una and Septon. That's like, oh, we'll do the plot stuff. Everett was and there too. Was... Well, well, I, I I was gonna include him, but like this is the first time. Yeah. But like Una and um, Septon have they, they do the, the episode. They do the plot. Is plot. They do the plot, and then. The rest of you guys, you know, do your thing. But that's also, that's other I plot. I was the plot for a couple of episodes. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> yeah, true. Um, afterwards, Septon went to talk to the demonology professor about Balthazar, which caused a bit of a little, uh, spat between the two of them, um, briefly. So we'll see how that turns out. And Una and Everett looked into information about Casimir Orion. Found some stuff, not really the information that they were hoping to find, but some information nonetheless. Uh, eventually they met up with Isla and decided to go to Crash Arlith's party that night at the dance hall, which is called the Minotaur, by the way, just so you know. And it always was. <laughs> um, yeah, but the kids call it the dance hall. Yeah. Um, they all went, well, Septon went do, to work. How do Minotaurs feel about that? Um, you don't know any Minotaurs. But it is a race, is it not? Not commonly. It's a monster. It's thought of more as a monster in um, these parts. Yep. Wow. I am not an animal. Um, exactly. but it's called the Minotaur. <laughs> And they went to the party um, while Septon went to work and got a message back from his um, long distance flirtatious partner. Um, at the party, they were having a good time for a minute there. Isla convinced Arlith to let everybody come in until Everett came face to face with Mel um, of the notorious Pell and Mel. Um, through some quick thinking and getting Arlith to cooperate, uh, most of the party was siphoned outside to uh, see the fireworks that Arlith jumped up on the schedule. And that is where we're gonna pick up. But before we do, oh, did you have something you wanted to say? I have a question. I have an answer. I don't know if I have like messed this up, but last week when this whole thing was going down, for some reason, I got confused. Is Arlith, Arlith is Egg Boy, correct? Yes. Okay. For some reason, I thought this was a different guy on no. the Blast Ball team. This is Arlith. This is the Egg Boy. This is the captain. Yeah. This is your. No, I, have, I have Arlith in my notes as Egg Boy, but I got super it's confused the same last time. <clears throat> he yeah, is continue. the Egg Man. I have a question before we move forward. Whatever you say is cool, but just think about it for a minute. What did you guys bring today? Uh, I have nothing. Cool. I am tied to the thing where I keep all my spells, yeah. so I I brought my brain. I mean, in terms of like armor and weapons and equipment, I don't know how much you guys would have brought out on a day on the town or going to a party or something like this. Well, I'm always armored up, baby. I think S Septon always has the whip on him at work, just in case. Mm -hmm. I I, I kind of want to flip a coin for armor. That's fine. Um, I have armor because of the it's over it's under the illusion, but I don't have my staff or anything. Did oh, Sean has, did Sean has, he get I, all I, armored I, up to go to the party? I feel like Chundi's not armored up, but he would have. I I will say it's definitely not Ember, mm. but he probably has like some sort of ceremonial a like, decorative. Yeah, a a decorative. decorative a de one of the one of the extra polished ones. Yeah, he would. On he would, wouldn't he? Oh. I will also say Septon definitely has his pipes on him. He definitely cool. takes his instrument to work. Cool, just keep, keep, yeah. So Uno, I assume you don't have your maces though, or your grappling hook. Not that I ever use my maces. They're no, really but... just decorative at this point. It's just important to keep track of what you have on you right now for, yeah. for what's about to go down. I flipped a coin, Septon is wearing his armor. Okay. It seems like he would decide kind of on a whim if he was going to wear his armor to work. So Shandi is unarmored. Yep. 
Um, cool. So just keep That's that in mind. Fine. Yeah, nothing can go wrong here. Um, he doesn't usually take damage, so. <laughs> yeah, so just keep in mind what you would have and what you wouldn't have, and if you want to change that as we go, if you're like, it wouldn't make sense for me to have that, that's fine. But just keep it in mind, because you weren't going out for a fight today, you were going out for a day on the town. Anyway, we will pick up there as the fireworks are exploding in the sky, um, and Arleth, looking around worry, turns to you, Isla, Tether, and says, "Yeah, what's happening? Please explain to me what's going on. I don't know. Um, Una just said something in my head. Right, um, well, where is I can is look around to find her? Una. Sorry, I don't mean to come across as curt. It's just my father wants this party to go well. He, he always makes me throw parties when he goes out of town to preserve my image. But um... well, you see a you see a, a, a fifty year old like human man walking around the party, and he goes, Kurt. Kurt, I'm looking for Kurt. <laughs> <laughs> this is my other character. It's a PC. I'm introducing you right now. Um, Dual characters. Yeah. Yeah. Roll the anyway. second one. Yeah. Um, Continue. I just want yeah. to make sure everything's all right, just in case, you know, a, can't have a disaster at one of my parties. Father would not um, approve. Uh... Let me um go figure out and also um don't worry, um you have a good image. Thank you. Isla, I appreciate You're welcome. that. <laughs> I uh, I'm gonna come with you. I need to talk to her oh, if yeah. she thinks okay. there's a problem. Do you... Okay, can can I look? Yeah, I mean she's not hard to find. Okay. She's short, but she's distinctive. <laughs> yeah. So um, you see, um so the the three of you see as Arlef and Isla, start walking over towards you. Uh, hi, 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 um, can you hi. please explain? Yes, what's going on? Is this a prank? Please tell me you're not Did pranking I me. I didn't, oh, it's I don't think not a explain. prank. Um, there are people, he, like, dangerous people here. They've been after us for a while. Um, <sighs> I just don't want anybody to get hurt, so I don't know if it's better. No, um, I don't want anyone to get hurt either. Oh, you um, mean that spooker who I just talked to? Yep. Okay. Okay. Okay, uh, this is going to sound insensitive, and I don't want it to be insensitive, but do you think it would be beneficial if they're after you for you guys to run away so you're not in a populated area? Yes. Uh, thank you for bringing dangerous criminals to my party, but um, if you don't mind getting rid of them. This isn't the time, Arla. Arla, it's not their fault. To blame people. They just show up, okay? Okay. Um. Well, okay, you said they're in, after uh, in, you. In, Can you do Shandy's something here? about them? In yeah. Shandy's head, I just want yes, to say, that, that felt good. <laughs> uh, history <laughs> check on the surrounding area. Not that I've been here a long time, but I do know a lot. History <laughs> check to know if there's like an open area where it would be safe to fight somebody. 19. So, without a history check, you're on sort of a plaza right now. In fact, I can show you a map. Marvelous. No, oh, that's pretty um, uh, convenient that you so happen to have a map made for this area. <laughs> this map has been around since session one, man. I could also just tell. Oh, people. I don't. I don't. Uh, nobody has vision on this map. LMFAO. <laughs> one sec. Um, I can get stream. around and just tell people telepathically get out, get somewhere safe. Anyway, so the. Uh, the Minotaur is this building with the arrow. Um, it's oh, it's a yellow arrow, a little hard to see there, but that is the Minotaur. You're up right next to Flatfish Junction on one side, right next to Ash Grove on the other side. So you are sort of in an open area right now and everybody's enjoying the uh, fireworks. I mean, I could also you know, make some ugliness go down in here, and I think people get out right quick. No, 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 no! Don't do that. No. I'll, I'll run around, like, in thirty foot radiuses in people's heads. I, uh, um, I mean, not to offend, clearly, but that's a little creepy. Perhaps they would. That could cause some panic if a random voice starts telling them to run in their brains. Hey, then you have a better idea. Yeah, I'll um, make an announcement. Um, 
Yes, Isla. Yeah, that's not a better idea, but okay. Oh, okay. I feel like there's the a lot. Bar. Guys, guys, I feel like there's a lot of animosity here and a lot of history. So maybe can we set that aside real quick and um, deal with this situation? Um, okay. Um, yeah. How, how about you announce? How about this? Um, I make an announcement. Thank him for coming to the party. Enjoy the fireworks, and then have them go to the mall. You know, have everyone go to the mall. You know, uh, for a little like after Brian? hours. I don't know. Uh... Father would be cross. I could. Um, Maybe. You know, I... Get them away here. And while that happens, you guys can make sure make your way back to school for reinforcements. I don't know. We could be the hasty retreat and gather reinforcements. Don't you have a friend somewhere around here? Yeah, yes, we Jacqueline? should notify Septon that this is happening, shouldn't we? Well, perhaps we should notify the authorities as well. Um, yeah, I'll go. Um, while you make the announcement and you guys go tell Septon and whatever, I'll go find the authorities. Right. Shami, well. you go get Septon, because you have the ear and can talk to me. Um. Off I go! Nice! Okay. You oh. say that. And as Isla turns to leave as well. Great. <laughs> you see a person sort of double over a couple feet away from you. Make sort of a moaning noise and collapse. And then another. And then another. Until a good two thirds of the crowd boom, fall to the ground. Um, moaning, clutching their stomachs, writhing a little bit. And you hear from inside the dance hall high pitched, giddy laughter. Oh, they got the punch. I'm, I'm pissed, so I'm gonna do it. Uh, an egg boy's head. Uh, something I haven't used in a while and the, the demon voice is gonna come back and say well now you've wasted our fucking time he's gonna look straight at you he's gonna say okay, I wasn't hiding it yeah and he's gonna say I don't think parlor tricks are important right now people are collapsing and he runs over to like check on someone Check or anything? Nah, he rolled he rolled a natural twenty on his on his insight check about that. Um, uh, I'll, I'll, Isla, you're, Septon, can you Isla, your parents are apothecaries, right? They do potions. Uh, I can. Can you look at this? They're out. Uh, no, but okay, um, could you look at this person or something? I. Okay. Okay. Um, medicine check. Yeah, make a medicine check on this person. Pull up my character sheet. Oh, why did I? Okay, I'm I'm down with being proficient in medicine. It's for your poisoner stuff, I think, right? Oh, true. Okay. Um, so that's a twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. So this person is sweating profusely. Um, but what they are secreting isn't sweat. It's this brown, viscous substance that you recognize pretty quickly as caramel. Okay, okay, they're sweating caramel. Uh, is that normal? It's, I'm not making, I'm not code. I'm no, not no, 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 I, I don't Good think God. you are, but is that if, if you've seen this before? Or... No, I haven't seen people sweat caramel before. Um, uh, uh, okay, do you guys think you can hold him off and I'll, I'll run get Septon or something? Uh, Get back uh, up? Someone's already getting Septon. Oh, did he? Well, Shani said, I'm about to leave, but then everybody around you collapsed, so yeah. I don't know if he's going yet. Uh, how far is, is Septon's work from here? It's like a five minute walk from here. Okay, so quicker at a run then. I, I think knowing it's that close, I, I would have gone anyways, because I cool. think it's important for him to be here. Okay, great. Everett um, is going to walk up to Egg Boy uh, and as as discreetly as possible say hey do you got any um like statues in the house what what do you mean what are you it's talking important. about it's important. it's important it's important it's important trust me there's plenty of statues around the town i don't know what you mean people are like, maybe dying right now i know, man. I, know. I don't even I know, know who you I know are that, i know how to help them do you have any statues around just trust me there's one in the plaza okay 
There is one in the plaza, actually. That one's not a fountain. The other dot is a fountain. What, is, what, kind, of, what kind of a person is that? So this statue is technically colossal, not medium. Mm. Oh. All right. Plus, your, your thing doesn't work unless you finish a long rest next to a statue. Okay. That's fine. Or a short rest. It's a rest. You finish a rest. So you'd have to spend an hour with a statue of medium size. Okay. 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 Uh, okay. All I'm going to say is this is not natural. It's probably magical. And it's probably stemming from the person in there. So if we want to stop, the person in there has to stop. All right. Well. So we have to... We have to stop him. Right. Well, Shandi went to Shandi went to get Septon. Mm -hmm. I'll go rouse the guard. Cool. And I'll start running. Say, say, he grabs you by the arm. Be safe. Uh, I will. You too. That's that's a good plan. And he um, he stands gonna... up and turns to the remaining two of you. It says. Does this person negotiate? They like to talk. Well, perhaps we get them talking. I'm afraid this isn't my specialty. I'm good at blast ball and doing what dad tells me to do. We can go. No, this is my party. This is my no, responsibility. No, we can go in. And you can take care of everyone else out here. I can fight as well as you can. Oh, okay. I, you just said you're only good at blast ball, so. Well, I kicked your ass at blast ball. If you don't forget, if sorry. Wait, but blast ball is different than fighting. Maybe you're right, but this is I my party, right. and these people are my responsibility. I have to do something. I'm coming in with you. Una, Una, right. are they what? afraid of anything? Not. Can I insider history check? With... Uh... It's been a while since we. <laughs> Yeah, you can make a uh, insight check at disadvantage. Yeah. Hey. Um, not terrible though. Fifteen. Fifteen. Um, yeah, fear didn't really seem to be in their lexicon. Um. No. Uh. Which one is it? Mount no. Pell, okay. Pell's the magma brawler. Mel is Pell's the mag. cursed confectioner. Because Pell can pummel you. That's how I'm remembering it. Pell just wants to fight shit. Um, Mel will talk. Um, he just wants to have fun in a really thick way. Not, like, that sick. Sorry. What? All right. Well, where they're where is them? They're messed up. Where's Where's Pell at? I think they're back in the dance hall. All right. I think I I got a plan for dealing with him. Where's the space that we can take him where where he's just gonna not be able to hurt anybody? In we're in city? we're in a city. Nowhere's free of people. Is there like a graveyard or something? In the city. Yeah. No, you're in the Zymor Empire, my friend. Okay. Hmm. All right. Um. I say we go in. It. Time's ticking. All right. I'm gonna mage arm mage armor up. Um. Averith is going to unbutton the top few buttons of his shirt. Um. And Una, you catch the. The skin on his sternum is sort of discolored, and if you want to look closer, you can make a perception check. I Una does not want to look closer. Yeah, you don't have to. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, it was it like? Oh, disc. Mm. It's like a different skin tone than his skin. I would like to see. Cool. I'm never mind. Wait, yeah. Fifteen. Fifteen. Fifteen's enough. You can make out... What about a 23? 23, you can make out even more. So, Everett, you can make out that it, it seems like nobody... Like, this. there's a patch of his skin that is different, either from a different part of his body or from someone else. Um, Una, you can make out significantly more. Um, it seems as though a patch of skin has been sort of grafted onto his chest. And on that patch of skin, there is a symbol. It is um, 
and sort of like an upside down horseshoe with a line crossed through the middle. Oh shit. Like an Omega? Like an Omega. Was he in the animated movie? Have we seen that? You or haven't. Chelsea. Chelsea's okay. seen that before. Chelsea's seen it though. Elrell had that on his eyeball. <laughs> oh my gosh! Fuck! Alright, anyway. Hmm, weird. I'm <laughs> going. Cool. So, the three of you head on inside. Tether, I assume, where, what, are you, what are you up to? Um, the plan is I was going to run to the, the guard to rouse the guard, let them know there's an emergency, people are hurt, dangerous people, blah, blah, blah. Cool. Hopefully have them send her home. She's going to run to home, which is Dima place. See if Dima's is there. Rouse the... Uh, Great, crooked out of the shaded alley to okay. let them know the people responsible for, for, yeah all that stuff mm -hmm. before we go in i'll ear shandy and say we've gone into back into the dance hall <laughs> okay <We're>, we'll, we'll <laughs> try to buy some time <laughs> remember your training shandy this is why we do laps remember this is my first calisthenics roll in a long time <laughs> <laughs> um cool Blake. yeah uh, I forget, but also I think Everett would probably, you know, not know these people super well yet. Who was the, like, the trainer teacher that Brom. we, that I literally just met? Brom. Kusmal. Brom. Is, was Brom of, like, of, like, a pretty imposing figure? Yeah, he's a big, he's a big, tough looking dude. Okay. Cool. Knows. He's bald, right? Mm -hmm. He's a bald buff boy? Yep. Like, Vin Diesel? A BBB? He's, he's not Vin Diesel. Damn it. What about Bruce Willis? No. He's, Damn it. He's the rock. He is the rock, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's um, like he's like the rock, but short. He's okay. the short rock. Okay. Short king. Yeah. Short king. Uh, so I'm going to try something. Um, also walking into the room with us is Brom. As in a, what spell you As guess? a major yeah. image. Cool. Cool. All right. You step into the room. You like Arleth? Uh oh, Can't <laughs> can't see. Oh, you can't? No, no, sorry. My, oh. I have too many windows up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, I like all the people scattered around. That's yes. not funny, but that's so cute. Um, so you see in front of you the dance hall. The lights are still changing. The Magitech lights. Um, the music isn't playing anymore because the band has passed out. Um, but there are people just unconscious scattered all over this room. There are a collection of people that aren't unconscious, though. Um, four guards with lollipops in their mouths, just look like Kelshar guards. Um, each of them holding a tray, covered silver tray. Uh, Pell is in front of the stage, stretching. Uh, she's, um, seems to be preparing for something. And Mel is sitting in a comfortable red chair. He's got hot cocoa in one hand, stirring why's, it with a candy cane. Why does Pell say Septon? What? It doesn't. Oh, did you have your cursor on? Yeah. <laughs> I'm on a new computer, so the default okay, is cursor okay. on okay. instead of cursor off. Oh no, Sorry. they're hot. They're, this isn't really what they look like, but this is the best I could get with the Artflow AI generator. Arleth I got in fucking one, though. I was like, yeah, that's fucking him. <laughs> that, that is Arleth. That's what I imagined Arleth would look like. Yeah. Uh, he, looks like, he looks like he would call me mean names at, well, at soccer practice. Yep. Um, cool. As you and Brom step in, I don't have a token for Brom, I'm sorry. I should have made one by now, but I didn't. Um, you step in with Brom. Um, and as you step in, you hear Mel call out, Hey, long time no see. Looks like you're back in town. Are you enjoying my party? 
And Arliss is gonna say, it's my party, thank you very much. What have you done? And Mel goes, oh, it's your party? Sorry, I've sort of co-opted it. <laughs> it's me and Pell's party now. Arliss doesn't really know what to say to that. <clears throat> so it looks like you guys didn't have the treats. That's surprising, since your dad was the one peddling them. And he points to Arleth. Um, and at this point, all of the guards are gonna open the tray, and you see on the tray is a delicious and rich-looking pastry. Um, it's, it's dripping with this perfect white icing. It looks like probably fairly expensive. Um, and Arleth looks like he's seen a ghost. He's gonna say, oh, oh no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop into Arliss's head. Like, what's going on? Can he talk back to you, or? Yeah, I'll drop one. I'll drop the whispers. And I'll drop one on Everett as well, because yeah. you're here. For the past f couple of months, Favilar's Emporium has been selling those for coppers on the gold. We, we got it cheap from a supplier it normally costs several gold for the thing but everyone's been eating them because they're cheap I'm allergic to ginger so I haven't had any but I've been telling everyone to eat it because that's what my father told me to do okay interesting not just at the party I mean everywhere <laughs> All over what is Kelshar. It, like a pastry? Yeah, it's like a very rich sort of like square pastry with white glazed icing on top. Would we have known? Would we, we have been hurt? Probably not. You've been back for a day. There but weren't. You said last couple of months. Yeah, you've been gone for two months. I thought we were gone for a month. Just picturing like a, no. a butterscotch crimp. You were at the library for a month. You were at the library for a month, but you left but to go into the Underdark. The previous month, yeah. Um, Mel's gonna say, Thanks to your dad, <laughs> everybody's been eating my cursed pastries. And I activated the curse tonight. I was gonna do it tonight anyway, because uh, Master comes back into town tomorrow and he'd be pretty mad if he knew I'd been doing this. So <laughs> I thought, well, he's away. <laughs> Pell and Mel can play, but since you guys are here, Maybe I can do what I was supposed to do when you got back and this all at once. Everything's coming up us, pal. And pal just sort of grunts and does like a squat stretch. Can I make a perception check on the room? Mm -hmm. And just see like, it looks like there's stairs there. Yeah. I don't know what that sort of lifted thing on the left is. That's the stage. But how many exits are there? There's one exit on this floor. And you're standing in front of it. So it's just that and the stairs? The stairs lead to a, another floor. Yeah. You don't know what's up there. It's behind the bar. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I can whisper to Una, right, while mm -hmm. I have the thing. I'm going to say, um, ask Arleth where the stairs go. Okay. I'll ask Arleth. I, I mean, I... I don't know. I, I don't own this building. Um, the, the, the there's storage up there. Um, there's I don't I, I kitchens. I assume where they keep the alcohol and drinks and. Probably How about where, damn? Uh, I don't think there's a basement. Can I do a perception check? Sure. As you're doing that, Mel's gonna say. What? Cat's got your tongue? You don't want to talk to your old friend Mel? We go way back! Uh, perception? 24. 24. I mean, yeah, you see what you see here. There's there's nothing nothing hidden. And no indications of what what's up there. Okay. Not really, no. Uh -oh. So it's a well-built building. There's not, like, cracks or anything. Um, yeah, friend, it's been a while. <laughs> How's it been going? 
Oh. Well, we got a new master, and he is much more fun to work for than the last guy. Um, but he probably wouldn't be too happy with us doing this little stunt, so we got to get this over with before tomorrow. Uh, in any case, everybody hmm. out there... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a very obvious like look at Everett and Arleth. Uh, There's my apologies. Brom. I and Brom. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, his token's not there. <laughs> um, I just didn't take you for the kind of people who reported to a master. Oh, we always have been. Especially not Pell. Did the lights change? It, they did. I don't know what. I do so. Oh no! Somebody <laughs> just made a drawing. That was me. I was trying to measure it, but I accidentally created the thing. Sorry. Um. Pell, Pell sort of looks over at you and smirks. Um, and Mel goes, Oh, that was cute. You're trying to get a rise out of us. No, I'm just a very curious person. <laughs> well, you'll be curious to know that all of the people who have eaten my little snack will turn to caramel in a matter of time. I mean, I figured that out. You're not even concerned about it? Oh, some heroes yeah. you guys are. I'm concerned. Um, uh, <laughs> Everett is going to walk forward ten feet. Pell's gonna, he's, Pell's gonna stop stretching and just stand up straight, crack her neck, and, and look at you. And he's he's gonna say, "Hey, you know, you were really nice at the bar, and I thought that that was genuine. Um, sorry, I'm new. Uh, I don't mean to, you know, um." I don't mean to, to, to make a bad impression here, but what the heck? Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, you don't know me very well. This is, um, this is sort of what I do. Do you have any friends? Yeah. I've got okay, who are a lot your friends? more now. Yikes. Uh, as you take a st another step forward, Pella's gonna take a step forward to you, towards you. Sorry and say, I wouldn't recommend that, kid. Call lightning on that five foot, that five foot radius right there. Counterspelled. Fair. Pell's gonna take another, uh, another step forward, smirk, and sort of whip her hand and it's gonna <laughs> catch on fire. She says, oh, Mel, just let me kill this kid. And I was like, no, 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 no. Okay, we're gonna play a game tonight, and it's gonna Brom be fun. Step Brom steps forward and says, "What? Can you give me a little Brom's voice?" Yeah, he talks like this. You, you were unlucky today. Didn't think a professor was going to be here, huh? I didn't. And Everett's gonna take a few steps back. I didn't think an illusion of a professor was gonna be here today. No. What are you talking about? This is all 100% real beef. And he like, <laughs> he like smacks his fist. Pell is gonna stomp into the ground and some of the floorboard is gonna kick up. She's gonna punch it over towards the illusion of Brom. Dodge, dexterity save or something, I don't know. It's an attack roll and okay. it would have hit. It was a natural 18 and it just goes boom, flying through Brom. Now, do you want to have a conversation or not? Well, that's what I was trying to do by asking about your master. Yeah, but your friend over here keeps trying to cast spells and trick us. Well, and frankly, that's not very fun. Okay, we'll get you. your friend under control and maybe we can talk. <laughs> I think he's fine. But, but you understand how you stopped the conversation I was trying to have. So he took that as a threat. Can you see how that's a little confusing? No, of course not. You not really. really it. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. Any case, you have something I want, and I have something you want. I have the antidote. Okay. Little magic potion that'll make all this go away. Insight check. All right. Halfling luck, baby! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Ten. Ten. Seems to be telling the truth from all, from what you can tell, but this kid is always just grinning, yeah, so it's, it's really hard to tell. And you have something my master wants. 
It's a little rock. Shaped like a moon. Who has that right now? I don't know. I checked all your character sheets. It wasn't there. <laughs> Did we keep it at the house? Let's check, oh, let me, let's check old character sheets. That's my that's my best guess. So, I think you guys should give me that. Was it just a little moonstone? Crescent moonstone, yeah. I thought it was like a silver crescent moon. It is, yeah. Hold on, it might, I might have put it in my notes. I think you guys should give me that. Because after a certain amount of time tonight, Everyone who ate my pastry is gonna die. Other has it, according to my notes. <laughs> Got in my inventory. I mean, I can try to reboot my old I mean, computer to see. It, yeah. You might not have put it in your notes, but in my. or in your inventory, but in my notes it says you have it. Yeah, I don't see it in mine. It wasn't yeah, anybody. Okay. So we can make a judgment call now. Tether, do you have, do you carry that on you or do you leave it at the house? Okay, when did we get it again? Um, Same cave we found Balthazar. In, yeah, Balthazar cave. Yeah. Then it's probably like in the trunk, in our trunk and at the house. Cool. If you want to try to attack me and Pal and take it from us, you can try. But I don't think that'd be as fun. But we're gonna be here enjoying the uh, hot chocolate that this establishment has to offer if you need us. Thanks Arleth for your big party in your support of our product. And thanks to you guys for playing our game. If we play it right, this could be a really fun night to remember. Was that a good conversation? Uh, Everett's gonna whisper to Una and say, wow, they're uh, pretty powerful. Um, they're the worst. Yeah, clearly. Um, I mean, so we just got to give them this rock? Is there a reason they can't have the rock? I mean, it, they're going to do something bad with it. It's, uh... Uh, I mean, they see, it seems like it. Could we give them a different rock? I feel like they'll see through it. They saw through Braum. We'd like to offer you a different rock! Mm, nope. Are there any other rocks that you might be interested in? Oh, I don't care about the rock, but my master wants this one, so... Okay. That's the rock. That's the rock for me. We know you took it from the caves. And we want it. Okay. Did we take it from the caves? Are you whispering? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, we did a while back. Okay. We did, not you. Don't worry. Well, I am worried. <laughs> um, can I tell that Pell does mostly fire damage? But based on the glove thing? Or is there like, is there any way for me to like perceive that based on their... She's got a flaming hand, but she did just kick kick Earth at you pretty hard. You imagine she punches pretty hard too. He's a lava bender. Okay. I mean, actually, you can make a history check on her outfit because that's something you might know about. Twenty-two. Let me do my little roll. Uh, the outfit actually belongs to a monastic cult that no longer exists. It was wiped out a few years ago. Um, who summoned a magma primal. 
um, on the bank, on the, the out, out of, near Mount Elder. Uh, the cult was wiped out, though. I'm going to whisper to Una. Mm -hmm. Do you think that you and uh, Egg Boy over here could take the magic one if I can get rid of the big angry one for a little bit? I'll ask Garlith in his head. Um, How are you feeling, bud? I'm feeling like this is my fault. Um, no, I'm feeling like I'm gonna it really isn't, slap that smile off of his face. Yep, he's really frustrating, I know. Um, as much shit as they talk, they are very dangerous. No, I uh, got that. He took out probably three quarters of the town at Kelshar without anyone noticing. Did, did he mention how much time we have? He, he, was just, he just said yeah. after a certain amount of time. I'm going to be like, hey, Shanti. <laughs> oh, <it's like> <laughs> Almost there. Wait, you said five minutes walking. Yeah, you guys have been talking for like He's two minutes. running. Two? We're, we're doing scenes. It's cinematic. We got to do the scenes, okay? It's like <laughs> ten real life minutes, yeah. though. I know, but you guys have had a lot of conversations outside of character in those ten real life minutes. Oh. Um, Everett, can I make a history check mm -hmm. on like if there's any like... I, I want to make one history check on these characters, and then I want to make one on, like, on what to tactically do when you're outmanned. You know, just kind of, like, if he has any historical references for something like that in, in, a, in a position like this. Sure. Um, the history check on Pelamel is 24. Uh, you know with certainty that there's no history on these two. These okay. Those names are clearly made up out of nowhere, and people matching their description haven't been recorded anywhere in any library okay, that you've I, read. Okay, but I won't make the second one, because if there's no reference for them, then, yeah, then for them at all. Huh. So, what'll it be? You guys want to play? Should we play uh, their sorry, game? Sorry, what game is this? Uh, well, we'll try to take the stone from you, and you can try to take the antidote from us. Okay, but what are the rules of the game? Two hand touch, <laughs> right? Rules? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, games games by definition have a set of agreed upon yeah. rules. If we get the thing from you, we win, and if you get the thing from us, you win. That's called war. That's not Okay. You wanna do a war then? <laughs> well if you don't like my terms, then that's okay, you don't have to play. These people will die anyway. I mean I'm gonna whisper you know, we only yeah. gotta stay alive for until Shandi gets back, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's do a lot of staying alive then. Because we can't leave, clearly. I don't think, at least. No. And we we can't abandon these people, so... I mean, it's, let's give it a shot, I guess. All right. Where's my measuring tool? Hold on. That's so tiny. Okay. Um, I'll whisper to Arleth. Everett and I are going to fight. No, no, no. I don't. I. We need to tactically retreat and regroup. We will die if we fight them right now. what time? We have no idea what how much time these people have. We don't. But if we fight them right now, we die. And we're going to be no help to them. I, I understand where you're coming from, but and I want to save these people as much, if not more, than you. They're only here because of me. Can you talk? I'm not good at stalling, clearly. I... <clears throat> All right! We're, we're interested in playing your, your game. Can we have some time to strategize? Just, yeah, totally. <laughs> we're going to be here all night, so you go do whatever you want to do, and we'll be here. Okay. Well, bye till next time. Um, I hope that you die before we come back. So good luck with that. And Paul says, I wouldn't count on it. There could always be a fantasy heart attack. Who knows? 
He does eat a lot of sugar. He does eat a lot of sugar. <laughs> Roll <a> D one hundred. <laughs> he has fantasy diabetes. Yeah, I know. <laughs> which is just diabetes. And yeah, yeah, you guys can step back outside. Um, Arlith does a big exhale <laughs> when he gets um, out and says, "Before as everyone's leaving, can I can I mm -hmm. can I make a mental note of like things that Mel is wearing?" Sure. He's got leather armor on. He's got a leather pauldron over one shoulder. Uh, blue. Um, sort of bandana is keeping his hair out of his face, and there's this laughing bell symbol on on his pauldron. Cool. Yeah, Arla's gonna take a deep breath. Um, as you look around, the people don't seem to be in worse shape than they were when you left them. But there is just like a group of people unaffected who are standing here looking expectantly at the three of you. And at that point, we will jump on over to Septon. So Septon, your night's going pretty normal. This is a couple hours ago. <laughs> or a couple minutes ago, I guess. Um, people are coming in and out. You just got a message from uh, your your good pal. Maybe. Um, so you're feeling up in spirits. Um you have noticed that there's this new thing on the menu, though, uh, that Greg's been serving. It's this really nice-looking pastry. Um, and you've, you've eaten stuff like this before. This is would generally be significantly more expensive, but it's being sold for, like, dirt cheap. And Greg told you that Favilar Emporium has been selling it out, and it's too too good to, to miss out on. Um, other than that, everything's pretty much normal here. Everything's going the same as it has been. Um, fireworks, you hear off in the distance after a while. Sort of a startling for a moment, but not too bad. Um, a couple of minutes later, though, you hear Greg say, Oh, oh no. Boom, boom, boom. You whip around and you see that Greg has fallen over at the bar, taking some glasses with him. Oosh. Yeah, um, Septon's gonna immediately leave his post and run over. Uh, as you do, you notice that Greg's not the only one passing out. Like, several people at tables are also slumping over. You see your, uh, the tiefling girl that you work with has, she's dropped a tray that she was carrying, and she's just face down on the ground. Um, things are going weird. People are just passing out all over. What in the fuck? Um, uh, Greg, you're right. And Stefan's gonna try to. Stefan's gonna try to healing word. Cool. Yeah, you cast. Greg. You cast a healing word on Greg, and you know the spell worked. It doesn't seem to change his condition. He's got this brown liquid running off of his face. Oh God. Um, Stefan's gonna attempt a medicine check. Right, I can just roll in. That's a two. Yeah, you have no fucking clue what's going on here. Oh, this is bad. Um, who's not passing out? Uh, you see, not in, so you're in, like, the drinking area of this establishment. Over in, like, the more food area, there seems to be a, a group of five adventurers. They just came in, and they're looking around just as confused as you. Hey, um, I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say everybody got poisoned. A total guess at the moment, but uh, a dwarven man with a big old axe on his back says, "This sort of shit happened around here a lot, kid. What's going on?" No, no, very weird, very weird here. Um, oh, I know my first day back. Okay, um, uh, I've got nothing for this. <laughs> As you say, I've got nothing for this. The window closest to you shatters inward, and flying in 
tumbling and more than flying in is a strange creature. It's this large, probably around the size of you, humanoid form with big wings, claws, and a gnarled face. Almost gargoyle-like, but the material it's made out of is brown and flaky, almost like gingerbread. Uh, there is an arrow sticking out of its back as it <laughs> crashes in through the window. And as you look up and make eye contact with it, you can see that two more of them <laughs> crash into the window over in the food area next to the uh, the other people. This thing looks up at you, <laughs> snarls, and begins to charge. So I am going to need you ba -bum, to roll initiative. <laughs> I rolled a 13. Cool. I'll get you in the initiative here. Just a second. That thing's horrifying. Yeah, it's really unpleasant. It's harmonious. What are you fucking talking about? <laughs> All right, so it is going first. Good. And Good. it is going to sprint across the room. Here, one second, sorry. Um, it is going to sprint across the room towards you, and it is going to make an at a couple attacks on you. First with its bite. I'm going to try to sink its teeth into you. Oof, not do so well as a seven to hit, so that's going to miss. And then it is going to miss, it's... although I notice I'm unarmored in... Um foundry that's it's your character sheet so that's that's your choice <laughs> oh wait did i accidentally open the oh i opened something uh okay weird um i know what my ac should be so i mean double click the token that that one says your armor yeah i i noticed when i was supposed to remo remove my armor that my armor was completely gone from my character sheet as well already i don't know what happened to it but hmm. i only yeah. had my shield giving me AC. Yeah, I don't have anything giving me AC. It's fine. I know. I know what the number should be in my head. Well, double double click your character. It says you have armor for me. Oh no, unarmored. Weird. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Well, I'll. If try you want to like I'll drag and drop armor there. onto your sheets, everybody, while you while here, because. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So it is then going to swing at you with its claws, and that doesn't fare all that much better, to be honest with you. That's uh, a nine to hit. Nope. Cool. Yeah, as this uh, as this thing with the uh, the air on its chest doesn't seem to be doing it any favors as it stumbles towards you and just swinging its limbs wildly. Jesus fucking. Uh, all right. Um. Is it my turn? Yeah, it's your turn. All right, Septon will take an attack with the Whistling Whip. Twenty-three. Twenty-three, absolutely hit. Number right. Yeah. All right. Uh, that is nine damage. Uh, what of what? Oh shit, um, can I actually see that on Foundry? I don't know. It is gonna matter here. Oh shit, uh... Oh, yeah, 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 uh... Um... Six slashing, three thunder. Cool, so the thunder seems to do what thunder does. Um, but the slashing, as you whip into this thing, its exterior is crumbling. And you seem to do quite a bit more damage than you were expecting with your uh, with your whip, as it lashes into one of its wings, and the whole bottom half just shatters off. Great. So I'm gonna make a second attack. Cool. Does a 24 hit? 24 absolutely hits. That is three. No. Um. Eight slashing. Yeah, eight slashing and two thunder. All right. 
All right, back up to the top of the round. Well, I guess it didn't start. No, fuck me. Sorry. I haven't run combat in Foundry in a while. <laughs> Um, it's gonna make two more attacks on you. First with its bite, fucking nine, okay? And a 14. Uh, 14 will miss. Cool, it's struggling. Uh, we're, we're, we're beating it two more times. Cool. If it's my turn. Yeah. Is it just me and it right now? Right now, it's just you and it. You see that the, the group in the other room is fighting off two more, but that's pretty separate from where you are. All right. Uh, I rolled a flask of 20. That'll hit. Can I do the two attacks and then... Yeah, that's fine. Right. Uh, the other one's a 12. 12 does not hit. 12 does not hit. So the first one is going to hit square on its head, and the second one, it ducks under. All right, then I will roll damage. Wait, is that even possible to roll? Yeah, no, that number makes sense. Okay. Um, that is... Nine slashing... <laughs> And three thunder. Cool. This thing is not looking all that hot, and it's just at this moment that Shandi <laughs> arrives. Um, as you run up, you see that the windows are smashed. Uh, the door is sort of ajar. Oh, heavens, it's happened here too. Septed! As you push through, you see you know something. You see Septon backed up against the bar, just whipping at this gargoyle gingerbread monstrosity right up on its head. Why don't you roll That's initiative for me? Does it smell nice? Yeah. yeah, it smells really good. Oh, cool. Right side. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, now hold on. How did you roll a six point two? <laughs> Explain no, to I... me why do you have a plus point two? No, no, point two is his dex mod. No! You can't just say point two is his dex. What does that mean? It's the the point it's to break ties. Yeah, the point whatever is for tiebreakers. But your dex mod's five, so I don't know what's up with that. Yeah, I don't know. Well, yeah, I guess plus, I, I, ro well, I rolled a nat one plus then. five. Yeah. So that's six. six. I don't know where the point two. I don't know why they did our tiebreaker on it. Alright. <laughs> uh, Alright, well, I guess. That makes it the gargoyle's turn. It is going to... Yeah, I'll just... It hasn't really attacked you at all, so it's going to turn towards the new prey and start going away, but you get an attack of opportunity if you'd like it. Oh, I'm taking it. Oh, yeah. Attack. Uh, it's a 27. That hits, yeah. And that's, uh, it's, 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 uh, damage. That's, uh, six slashing and three thunder. And as it turns to run at you, Shandi, you see the whip just go right through its chest, cleaving it in two as it crumbles onto the ground. Shandi, I'm very busy at work tonight. What do you need? <laughs> Septon, we have issues. Oh, really? You don't fucking say. It's, uh, it's, it's Pell and Mel again. Oh, yeah, yeah sugary treat-based monster. Yep, all right. Uh, yeah. well, I was going to get help, and the others are confronting them at the dance hall. Septon's going to look over at Greg and be oh, like, pick them off the uh, clock. Isla? Isla. Isla, yes. You don't know it's Tether. Yes, I don't. Um, I don't know where the fuck Tether is. How are, how, how's that adventuring party doing? Uh, as you look over, you see as the dwarf just cleaves off the head of the second one. They look pretty unarmed. Um, look around, look back at you. They, they make their way over here. There's five of them. Um, they say, what the fuck is going on here? And the main uh, guy. <sighs> Some uh, ne'er do wells we've dealt with long before um, seem to have returned. My name's Septon. This is my one of my adventuring parties partners, Sean D. Um, I'm Orn. We're the Dirty Delvers. 
bad. It's a much better name. We're with the Bright Futures. Um, well, um... Well, who's, whose skull are we going to crack to fix this? Oh, I would love to be cracking skulls. Shandy, should they come with us? Should we should we get some, some reinforcements here? Don't see why the extra bustle yeah. wouldn't help. Right. Yeah. All right, lead the way, kid. All right, Shandy, show Follow us where me. it is. <laughs> <laughs> cool. You head off. Tether, you make your way through the streets um, towards Dima's house, and you notice that the scene outside the dance hall is not an uncommon one. Um, people are collapsed all over town as you run up towards Flash Fish Junction. People who usually would be sitting on their stoops at this time of night are curled over. Um, every now and again, you see a frightened looking person just like peeking through windows, but for the most part, people are just dropping like flies all over the place. But fairly quick, are you, have you taken your hat off? Or are you still running through as Isla? I was running through as Isla because I was going to the, like, the guard house first. Oh, right. Up to Ash, um, yeah. El, Fort Elmont. Cool. Yeah. So you run up. So you're, you're sort of off. To, the, the scene is the same going through Flatfish, yeah. and you get into the beginning of Ash Grove. Um, and the bridge leading up to Fort Elmont is also riddled with guards just passed out, groaning, covered in caramel. Um, you... There is zero resistance offered as you make your way up towards the main gate. Um, but as you get to the main gate, it's barred, and you hear a voice from behind that says, "Stay back." Um, excuse me. Um, I think I the perp the perpetrators of this. I know where they are. How can we trust you? Why haven't you passed out too? I don't know. Why haven't you? Uh, you hear some some murmuring. Who are you? My name's Isla. I was at the dance hall, or the, sorry, the Minotaur. I don't know. Oh, there was a private party, and these um very um shady characters were there, and um the bright future people are there. No, uh, here's some more murmuring. Are you armed? No, I'm in a dress. Right. And the door is creak open and you see five guardsmen standing there each with a spear and armored but not much else um the lead one pretty young probably like the 20 year old human steps forward and says um we're what's left so um we'll deal with it take us there you can see um, you can see his friends are just like looking towards each other. Well, actually, do you think it'd be a good idea to send a couple to um, the Bright Futures, and because they're powerful, right? The the campus they have a lot of guards, right? And strong people, right? Jenkins, uh, head south. He's like, right, uh, all right. And, um, he, grabs, a lot of people he grabs are, a saddlebag and heads sword brushes past you. And a lot of people are down around the streets. Um, you know where the dance hall is, right? Right. You know we're yes. Listen, we're not we're all conscripts, but you know we've worked here before, so we know we know the lay of the town. I've lived here my old life, so. You three, let's go. Take care of this. <clears throat> Do our um, duty. Well, well, maybe before you can help evacuate pe people, and like maybe there's like fires in homes that um, Do you, you know, people collapse. Listen, kid, there's, there's four of us. I, I don't know how much like, help we're gonna be. Why don't you? You seem to be a go-getter. Why don't you get some people? Uh, you're you're a deputy, I guess. Uh. <laughs> Start, oh, gathering, really a badge, but okay, um. start gathering people, um, get them to a safe spot. Um, I'm, I'm Private Rogers. Um, what's your name, Deputy? Um, hi, I'm Deputy Isla. Um, should I send him here? 
and he looks behind him and you see that there's just people like passed out and there's also a lot of sharp weaponry and, and siege weaponry and he's like I don't think you're s safe um do you have fell for it could could be do you know if they've been hit no I don't go there um you can send another guard I'm hesitant to speak to split my party any more than I already have. Um, um, I'll, I'll, I'll find. I'll run and get it. No, no, it, it's all right. Um, can you pick a lock? Out of a lineup? Shit. Um, and one of the guards says, "I, I, I can't, sir." Right. Why don't you? Get Favalar's Emporium open. And Isla, it's very important, all right? You make sure every able-bodied person gets there, all right? Yeah. And have them bring as many non-abled people as they can. Okay, Favalar's, okay. Yeah, easy. Thank you. Stay strong. You too, Captain. Oh, I'm not a captain yet. Don't do something, don't do anything stupid. He smiles weakly. Um, um, one of them books off behind you and the remaining three, he says, <clears throat> oh, let's go to the armory, boys, and then let's take care of the problem. And they turn and head deeper into the form Elmont. Okay, and now and then, then she'll run to Dima's. Cool. Yeah. You you run to Dima's. Um, yeah. And yelling to Favilar is on the way yeah, yeah. Um, people some people seem responsive some people don't seem to totally listen to you it's there's a lot of panic going on right now um, but eventually you do get to Dima's apartment there's no answer window you peek in the window Dima's home but she's not exactly in a condition to answer you right yeah, now. Yeah, fuck. Okay. So I don't can't get the shaded alley. Never mind. Um. Uh, make a, well, percep make a perception check for me. Perception. Mm -hmm. I don't have my staff, so I can't cast any spells. Um. Let's see. Um, 21. 21. Um, you do see a map open on the ground in front of her. Looks like she was holding it before she passed out. Is the door locked? The door is locked, yeah. Can I break the window? The window is not locked. She, I broke the window. Okay. <laughs> you head in through the window. Yeah. Um, she's breathing, um, and her eyes are sort of wavering open and closed. Okay. Look at the map. Uh, the map, it seems to track from here to a location. There's no markings on it, um, but it's just a building nearby. Probably like a okay. th two, three minute walk from here. I'll quickly put a pillow underneath her. Is there a fire going? No. The stove? This okay. isn't this isn't an apartment with any any utilities. Probably not. Okay, cool. And then I'll run to the the building. Cool. Jump out the window, crawl down. You run yeah. to the building. Um, looks just sort of like an abandoned building. There's no markings on it. The door <laughs> creaks open as you knock. Hello. Fuck, I, I, I'm gonna walk in, but I had the password, but it was on my old, it was on my old. You know the, machine. you know the password. We yeah. can just say that you say it. Yeah, can I shout it? Yeah. You hear a distant voice that says, oh shit, I know that voice. And you hear some rustling and, and movement, and you see as one of the wooden planks on this, like, just completely undecorated wall is pushed down, and Corin, the... The curse breaker, the uh, the very yeah. pierced person, steps out. Are you? Do you still have the hat on, or are you? Are you yeah, 
And I still have the hat on. She looks confused for a second and says, Tether. Hi, 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 hi. Long time no see. Um, what the fuck's going on? Um, um, you know the people, the people responsible for destroying our base are at the Minotaur, or the dance hall, of course. Um, and, um, they they did something, they did with this, but they're there. Um, how many people are, oh, okay. <sighs> We weren't hit as bad as most. I think most of us know not to try to try a shady new, very cheap product when it first comes into town. What for product? Oh, did you not know? No, I just see people perspiring caramel. There's, there's this new pastry. We figured it out. We we connected the dots. It's whoever's eaten it passed out. We think. The boss really liked him, and he's sweating brown shit. Okay. Okay. Okay, so it was pastries. Calm down. Well, Tether, well, calm down. We've got... Shane Alley's got a vested interest in this place not becoming a frenzied shithole full of brown piss, you know? So we're... We're taking a lay of the land. Can you help? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't do any magic. What do you mean you can't do any magic? I don't have my staff. Where's your fucking staff? I know I was going to a dance. Right. Um. Can you get yeah. another one? You have to like have a short rest or a long rest to change a focus. Yeah, maybe. You can do magic without a focus, depending just, on the magic. You just do yeah. material components. Yeah. Or a spell without material components. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see. Maybe go to a, yeah, is that magic shop? I mean, we're trying to prevent looting right now because, you know, if people jump in on the looting, that's going to, you know, reflect poorly on us after this is all done. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll look, I'll, I feel like we'll turn a blind eye if you want to grab something from a magic shop. Okay. Actually, I'm going through... I'm going through my list of spells, and you know what? I, I can cast enough. Never mind. So never mind. Okay. Um. No, we're no, it's just, okay. We're just doing some undercover stuff. We've got some. We've got going through the fairy tunnels, just making sure that everybody, that everything. We're getting a lay of the land. So I don't know what you're up to right now, but that's what we're up to. Thank you for telling us where this is coming from. But. As the de facto leader of this branch right now, I don't think we should attack them. It's not really... People we have left are good at running and hiding and stealing, not at fighting. Okay, do you have any ways of, like, distance communication? We could... We can get messages across the city pretty damn fast. Well, because, um... Okay, they're evacuating everyone to Favalor's. Um, but, um... That's good. We can I help. Could... We can help with that. Okay. Do you want to... also, um... Actually, no, that's not a bad idea. I think the boss would be pretty happy if we did that. Favelars, you say? Yeah. All right. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to pick up every piss-sweating motherfucker we can find, and we'll bring him to Favelars. Okay, cool. Um, I'm going to head back to the epicenter, and hopefully, I mean, if you have any way to keep tabs... We got eyes everywhere. They're a little gunky right now, but they're still open. Will I know how to contact you, or will you contact me? Just say the password. Somebody will hear it. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Okay, um... Hey! I'll take off hey, my hat. Hey! Relax! Relax! If you freak out, we're all gonna fucking die. Well, I'm we not freaking will, out. but you will. Do you have a plank? <laughs> she sort of gestures at the the wood, like the shitty wood planking that she just pushed onto the ground. Can I? Can I? Yeah. <laughs> Pull a plank off. Um. Okay. I'll go, and hopefully we'll see each other soon. All right. Good luck. Okay. Bye. Cool. You run off. Um. We'll say as you guys are coming out of of your meeting is around when Tether and. Uh, 
Shandi and Septon make it back. So you're all now back in outside the Minotaur. Together. Oh, thank God. Okay, you're here. <clears throat> Sorry, was that too loud? I would be quieter. It was yeah, a hey. It was a little loud. Um, everybody passed out at Greg's. What's going on? Everybody passed out here. Mm. Everyone passed out everywhere. Oh, we Paul also and Mel are in there. We also got attacked by, like, giant pastry monsters. But that's... I, you guys seen these two? Fun. No. Um, no. The Shaded Alley is um, evacuating people to Favilar's. Cool. How did they get yeah. in? It's not important. <laughs> it's Arleth. Um... <laughs> Um, oh, these, these are new friends. Some new friends. They helped me defend Greg's. Uh, I'm Ord. These are the Dirty Delvers. And oh, Ar Arleth goes. <laughs> dirty Delvers. Uh, they're very interested in cracking heads. Thought they might be useful to bring along. What? Are, are we going in and fighting Pelin Mal again? Didn't go well last time. Well, now that we have some numbers, maybe we stand a chance, but I still have no idea. What's the other option? But, like, what's happening? Did they think All right, so here's the situation. They have the antidote, we have that moon rock thing, which apparently we have. Oh, uh, we. And... The thing we picked up after fighting your shadow things. Oh. Wow. Oh. I have those. I have that. Where? Wait, what? It's hanging up in our room because it's the moon in our in our room. Um. Wait, are you Tether right now? Yeah. Oh shit! Wait, Tether, how'd you get here? <laughs> um, I was with the shaded. I was with my friends. Right. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Right. Okay. Um. Yeah. Um. I mean. Okay. 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 Can we give it to him? You see. You see three guards. <sighs> Standing at the front door, just like quietly talking to each other as well. Three guards standing at what door? Kelshar guards standing at the door of the Minotaur. Oh, okay. One of them looks over to you. Hi, guards! One of them looks over at you and says, Don't worry, citizen. Uh, we're gonna handle this. Hey, guys, <clears throat> you probably don't want to go in there. It's... Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. our, it's our job to go in there. No, 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 no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say right now that the move you make is don't let anyone in or out, but don't go in. That's that's the move right now. Right. Do you do you have I'm, any do you have any people with bows and arrows who are a good shot? You're looking at the whole guard squad of Kelshar right now. Okay, and none of you are a good shot. Uh, one of them uh, is a, a half like says, I enlisted two days ago. I barely know how to hold a spear. Right. Okay. Um, like I said, you guys don't go in. We've dealt with these guys before. Um, bad news if you go in. Don't let anybody in or out. How about this, though? How about this? Can all three of you look for some sort of healing potions or something? Because we're going to need them, probably. I I'm going to... I'm gonna guard the the door, cause I'm a, a guard. Guard the door. Okay, well there's three you, of you. You so you, you can... hear you hear just a voice speak up, and it's just a kid who was at the party. Teenager says, "I I can go look." Awesome, go and look you, you right now. You notice at this point that a circle has sort of formed around you. There's a handful of what looks like Felfrit students, um, uh, a gaggle like twenty maybe of just like regular citizens, either from who are inside the dance hall or have seemed to have gathered in ever since this, this thing started. There's like a very pregnant woman there. She's got a, um, a rolling pin in her hand. Um, oh, oh, look. Okay, and they're okay, all just yeah. sort of like looking at you guys. Okay, what we're going to do is everyone is going to evacuate to Falvarar. Favilar's! Favilar's Emporium! My father's establishment. I'm sure you know the way. Um, one of the fell, um, um, uh, fell for tears. Sure. Uh, 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 Silver Dragonborn girl speaks up. Go to your school and tell your professors and stuff. Right. Okay. Yeah, another one of you. Another one of you fell for tears. Um, is there anybody at your school with skills in the apothecary sort of fashion or, or potentially potion making? 
Um, We're curse breaking. We we have a curse. The curse is professor, but he's not very good at his job. No, right, he's, well, he's great. He's great. Could he, could he replicate? Could he replicate a, 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 an elixir that was already in existence? Because these folks claim to have the antidote. If we can get it from them, we're gonna need to replicate that shit. He probably couldn't, but I could check with the alchemist, Professor. Grab them. Yeah, uh, the, the rolling pin woman says, "There's a there's an apothecary in town. You could try too." All right, you go get them. Bring them. Bring them nearby, not inside. Like, bring them nearby. All okay? right. And she starts waddling away, holding her like all right. birthing any day belly, and she starts heading that direction. Okay. <laughs> so, can somebody? Can somebody who can run go instead? Oh yeah, sure, right. sure. You go. Can someone escort the pregnant woman to Favilar's, please? Yeah, get the pregnant woman out of here, man. Oh my god. The guy sort of gets under her arm. Um, guys, should we just go back to? Hagen and get the rock? We're not... We're not gonna... We don't know how much time yes, we um, have. Do you have any way of contacting anyone who's there? Well, did we ask how much time we have? They didn't... Well, they weren't really interested in talking about that. Alright, hang on a second. You kept us in, kept us in the Something's gonna go over to the door. Ah, uh, don't come in here. Your orders. No, uh, right, exactly. <laughs> my orders. My new order. Let me poke my head in for a second. Okay. Are you sure? Uh, yeah, no, no, we're just chatting. We're just chatting. Negotiating. Right. Trust me. He takes a step to the side. Septim's gonna poke his head in and be like, Oh, it's you! You! You're the... That, that guy! With the, uh... Hey, 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 hey. Me Mel, What's your right? name? Yeah, that's me. Who are I'm you Pal. again? I'm Septon. Septon! Yeah! Good Sorry. to see you, Mel. Pell. Yeah, it words, is good I to remember. see you. Um, your other friends uh, weren't so talkative. Right. Uh, well, you know me. I'm the chatty one. But time crunch here. Actually, uh -huh. what I mean to ask you about. Um, you say you want the the, the rock. Yeah. Right. Issue is rock kind of far from here. Oh, that's too do bad. We have how much time do we have to go get it? You got a, a number on that? Mm, or well, it's a very <laughs> finicky curse. It could be anywhere from an hour to dawn. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Um, you really should have kept that thing on you. That would have made your chances at winning this game a lot easier. <laughs> right. Seems like maybe we weren't told the rules before we began. Yeah. Sorry. Well, um, I will s thank you for the info. Totally. Sure, I'll be seeing you again before the end of the night. I hope so. All right. Wait, 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 wait. What do you got on your hip right there? What do you mean? What's that thing on your hip right there? You didn't have that the last time I saw you. This hourglass? Yeah. Trinket of mine. No, it's not. I mean, there's, it's... There's somebody in there, huh? Hmm? I don't know. Hey, is anybody in there? No. He doesn't say anything. No response. Same. <laughs> it is broken, though, so... Oh, I'm really looking forward to when you come back in here. That'll make things interesting. <laughs> Well, I'll be chatting with you later. Um, Mel, Pell, always a pleasure. And Septon will just... She didn't acknowledge you a single time. She's doing push-ups. No, that's that's what he expects. Septon steps back out. All right. All right. Well, um... Hmm. Uh, okay. He said anywhere between an hour and dawn. Also, they seem really interested in Balthazar. So, like... It's yes, that I didn't like. I'm going no. to I'm going to be honest, Balthazar, that was Balthazar. not a pleasant Balthazar, I'm gonna keep it real with you. Yes. Wait. Balthazar. What? No. And you you can go to Brahm's hip. I can, actually, yes. Instantaneously. Tell him what's oh. going on. Fuck. <laughs> what's in it for me? Uh well, these guys you to them. These guys wanna take you from us? Well, I could just teleport away. What Seppi, promise me you'll hmm. never talk to that man, that demon slayer, ever again, and I'll do this for you. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like I already made that promise. Yeah, sure! No, you just explicitly didn't make that promise. No, Fine. I, 
All right, no more talking to the Demon Slayer. Go tell Brom the bad situation we're in, and uh, stick with him, probably. Um, tell Brom um, if they want to find uh, the, the moon thing. It is currently hanging on the south east top um, ceiling corner of um, Una and Tether's room because we have a forest theme, and that was like the I put it oh, up. That's as, like, charming. The yeah, yeah. Um, thank you. Um, yeah, right, okay. Brom, you want me to talk to? I don't think he's going to be keen to listen to me, but I'll do it. I mean, do you have anyone else down there you can chat with? Alitha? Whoever you prefer. Maybe, yeah, I'll, maybe um, I'll talk to that Incubus. They'll probably get me. <laughs> the Incubus, were you ever on Colril's hip? No, but if I yell really loud, I'd imagine they'll <laughs> hear me. Yeah, no, do that. Do All make right. a scene, round up the teachers. Yeah, great. All right, see you later. <laughs> yep. Disappears off your hip. Okay, not to insult him or anything, but how how much do we think that that is going to do exactly what we say? I, I don't think it's insulting to tell somebody that they're a liar. I think that that's just saying how things are. Um, But who knows? He's a yeah, demon. He's a solid or a devil or something. Sorry, were you just talking to a demon in an hourglass on your hip? What? Yeah. What? Who's yeah. saying this? You what? sound like Balthazar. Arleth. Oh, yes. Hey, yes, um, I was. What? Arleth? No. Fuck. <laughs> you are. Oh, we need to be more in sync with our deceptions. <laughs> Maybe I should have. Maybe this feud we have isn't worth it if you have a demon under your control. Where's your father? <laughs> My no, father's out of town on a business trip. Okay. Uh, first of all, I don't know why you picked a fight with us. We're literally, like, actually literally in fights. I picked- weekly. You threw an egg at my head! That, okay, it's not the time. Now is not the time, but you absolutely started what's happening wait, here. Wait, 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 Fine, we started it. You want to bury it right now? Wait, wait, wait. Are you holding out your hand? Yes. Yeah, I'm holding- I'm, I'm, uh, It's all I'm because nobody would admit that we threw the egg first? Sefton is ignoring the, uh, the other two with his hand out to out. Yeah, to... and he shakes your hand. Okay, Fine. can I say it now? For now. Can I, can I say it now? Looks like now we got egg on our face. All right, that that's actually pretty funny. Yeah. That is that is good. All right, friends, great. Um, thank you for the candlestick again, by the way. Yeah, um, yeah no, sure, whatever. Um, okay, you, sure. You, 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 you do hear another voice in the crowd that says, uh, guys... What's uh, what's going on? And you turn and you see Ellie is there, just sort of in a in a nightgown, just walking through the room or the 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 area. Plaza. Ellie. I heard commotion and I came out here and um. Big curse on the town. People passing out. Go to Favalars. It's a safe zone. I could help. What can you do? Uh, well, I've ha I've got some divination training, so I can like send messages to people. Um, oh, that's excellent. Son of a bitch. Yeah, uh, that's great. That is actually great. I I dub. Um, have you told? Oh, never mind. I was gonna say you should contact my uncle, but he's out of town, so. Convenient. Cool. Um, he's out of town. Um, could you still contact him to tell him what's going on? Yeah, I, I could if you. Maybe. I oh, I have a limited amount of times I could like talk to people though, if you want. Didn't didn't. Yeah, is he coming back? Weren't they time? saying? Weren't they saying that Casimir was like super pissed about these two? Mm-hmm. So. Casimir himself said he was super pissed about this. Oh. Well, can you talk to Brom? I've, you I've never, Kazmier, Kazmier. I've never met Brom. Yeah, I could talk. I could talk to my great uncle. That's okay. Just tell him he's back. I feel like. All right. He's back. They're back. Both of them. Okay, I let him know. Hey. He's in the capital for the day, though, so I don't know how much help he could be. Right. Oh well, there's the way station. Mm -hmm. There you go. Um, guys, give me one sec. Oh, is there, is there still a couple people around? Yeah, there's most of the people are are 
I would say all like the just residents have started picking people up and taking them over to Favilar's. Um, you've got two, three Felfrit students left, and you've got the three guards up front, as well as just a couple of stragglers who seem to be wanting to do more than just carry people. But they are absolutely so, just commoners. So all we have to do is take the antidote from L. It's on yeah. L. That's the game that they said okay. they want to play with. I was going to badly cough, like, <laughs> and then say the password loudly. <laughs> Cheat it out, Ali. Password. <laughs> cool. Nothing happens Insert for a moment. Password here. Wait, did we, sorry, to clarify, did we see a physical antidote, or did he Mel just say? He just said he had it. Yeah. So we don't it know. Better what not be a, like a, like a, like a symbolic antidote like it's all up here well you've encountered him before last yeah. time the antidote to tree was B so it rhymes maybe <laughs> all rhymes are Marble. caramel marble marbles <laughs> hit them all with marble blocks <laughs> dandy <laughs> dandy um, no, Ted, you, you, you say the password and nothing happens Yep. Sorry, guys, I coughed a lot. Um, it's uh, wet. We gotta get wet. Should I go... Do we have a base of operations? I should... Travelers. Okay, I'm gonna go there, and then if you can contact me, and I can contact other people and stuff, um, I'll be there if you need me, but if you want me to go somewhere else, I'm happy to help. I'm not great in a fight, but I can talk to people. Before you go, do you want to hear the plan? Uh, y yeah, sure. Okay. Hey, thanks for the gift subs, Sean. Much appreciated, man. All right, so we're going to go in there and fight these guys in a second, right? That's the plan. Wait, is that the plan? I don't think that should be the plan. I, okay. I'm going to be honest. I wanted to get the stone here and then have you drop identify on it because we didn't know it was like a thing. Okay. I want to know what we're giving them. Uh, if the I thought stone's it was really... If the stone's really fucking dangerous, we don't give it to them. Isn't it like a part like of no it, matter what, giving it to them is bad news. Isn't it like a part of the thing that, that's in the door in underground? You're the only one who knows about that. No, I've told them. <laughs> I know, but you're the only one who's seen it, so. Yeah. I feel like I would have said, like, it's. I feel like it's part of a key to that door underground. Oh, shit. Okay, we can't give that to them. Yeah. I also want to put it out there that um, I have a condition, I guess. And he's rubbing his sternum. And Poison it, Ivy is not the time. Right no, now. no, and it's in presence of very strong arcane power, it throbs. And I was in extreme pain in that room. Okay. So they have a lot of magic stuff. They're quite powerful, yeah. If, if we want to fight them, I'll help, but I don't know if we'll live. Then again, you have a demon for a pet, so... What? He's completely unreliable. It was a demon. And also, he, he's, he's not a pet. Autonomous person. Sorry, whatever. Imprisoned I mean, he, he is trapped. Him. He is trapped, so he's kind of a pet. Um, but, uh... Up for now. Um, I mean, we got the dungeon, Delvers. Right. And we got each other. And we are supposed to be heroes, right? I was just told all about that. Uh, yeah, but the thing is, Everett, um, from the last couple times we fought them, I don't know how to guesstimate power level, but if I, I'd say they're above 10, if I have to say. Hey. I just, I understand your Everett, Everett, right? Um, I understand your instinct, but I don't think we'll be very helpful if we're dead. Uh, but, um, we don't have to, like, like, fight them, fight them to be heroes. Uh, we ought to get the antidote. True, actually. I could, we could sneak it. 
Somebody say, line. somebody say, sneak it. And Tether, you turn around and there's like a the greasiest looking gnome you've ever seen in your entire life standing there. Do I recognize him from the bar? You've down, seen, you've down seen down him around, yeah. Hi. Oh, all right. Well, hello. Hi. So. Okay, guys, I'm gonna talk to my friend real quick. So, um, and I'm just gonna lay out the entire thing, what I know about, you know, the, he has it on him, right, blah, right, blah, right. blah, heavy yeah. magical items, blah, blah, blah. I bet I could get in there and get it for you. They don't call me Canteen Pete for nothing. <laughs> well, Canteen Pete, um, not that I doubt your prowess. Maybe you could use some help. Well, it's, if you want me to sneak in there and get it from him. It's gonna be easiest if I go at it alone, you know what I mean? Would you like to be invisible? Oh, honey, I can do that myself, thank you. Okay, please don't call me, honey. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Would you like to be, like, extra dexterous? I mean, I'm pretty... I'm pretty dexterous. I'm fucking Canteen Pete. In Septon's head, I'll be like, yeah, come on, he's Canteen Pete. <laughs> <laughs> Just to lighten the mood. <laughs> Well, what about a distraction then? Yeah, you distract him and I can uh, sneak on in there and uh, get you some booty, huh? We go in, start a big old fight, you rob him. I, again, cannot stress enough, we'll probably die if we try to fight them. This is me, Arleth, speaking. Guys, if the NPC <laughs> is saying it for the fifth time. <laughs> oh, I mean, I mean let well, me, if you want I to try it, please do. They seem oh, like no, they I have full that. stat blocks, and it could be like it could be very fun. <laughs> NPC, if you shouldn't fight them, is there something else you recommend? Well, well okay, that's for okay, you to well, find. You that's for you to find out. I think. I've okay, run so, out of other ideas. Well, it's a whole city in front of you. Well, if you want to sneak it, um, um, well, Sept. Everyone's talked to them but me, so I can go in and start talking to them. And some people say I talk a lot and it's annoying. Mm. What if I talk to them for a bit while you do that? But also, do you think you can, like, relay that with the situ situation is to the rest of the family? Yeah, yeah, totally. Sure. Um, I mean... Well, you, I think what you pull stage... up the, um the city map again on foundry. Yeah, sorry, I didn't even know it was up. Not up. I think what's essential here is that they think that we're trying to fight them. We don't actually have to fight them, but we have to make them believe that's what's happening, right? I'm trying to think of things in the area. Does that make sense? I I think more the mm, no it doesn't. I, th I think I I think I catch your meaning. If we bluster and talk a big game, I mean, we don't necessarily it, have to engage in combat. I, I'm just and saying. We can agree that on a sign for a hasty retreat once the antidote has been secured. That's that's what I'm saying because if they can spot a major image without blinking, I mean that's not an easy spell to spot just right off the top. I think that you know, just walking in there and talking to them ain't gonna, ain't gonna really cut it. What if we offer them? They were really interested in Balthazar. What if we start all, start talking Hourglass? He's not here. Right. He's not here. Oh. Hi. Sure. Hi. You come back? Yeah, I gave you the message. I gave him the message and I came back. They're on their way. No, you need to stay off of my hip tonight, or Why? else these guys are just gonna kill me and take you. Well, you don't know that. You're pretty strong. <sighs> Has Canteen Pete gone in yet? No, Canteen Pete. Well, Canteen Pete left. But oh. Tether asked him to go tell people about the situation first. He'll be back. Um. Okay, guys, Apparently, we... I have some news for you, if you'd like to hear it. Yes. I would love to. The way station's out of commission, apparently. So they're coming on foot. Of course it is. They're bringing all the guards. Good, good. All the guards is great. Um, yeah, I can't wait for them to come, like, five seconds after it's over. Um, it'll be good. 
I don't know, pick up our dead bodies. What else is in the town that we can use right now? We can't rely on them. Well, um... Magical item store. Uh, Favilar's doesn't gonna have much, really, for combat. Bro, there's... We've got I'm another magic item guy. I'm talking about I'm talking about the other magic item shop. The mm. one with, like, actual, Gal like... Galligan's Island. There's another one? Yeah. I work there. First I've heard. It's smaller. Yeah. Yeah, but with uh, hey. more useful things. What if we just... Maybe. I don't... What if we just... Alright. We walk in. Yeah. I, I open the gloves of the porter out here. We walk in. I open him under Mel. Mel's suddenly out here, and we just fucking dogpile him. Just, just on him, and just yank the potion off of him. That could work, but also, um, from experience, Good. Mel is very, very fast. True. True. Probably not a great plan. Well, if you want to hear my strategy, I did think quite a bit about this. Good. I know that it would be dangerous to fight them. Can I speak as the newest member of the, the team? Second second newest member tonight, friend. Sorry, that was presumptuous. Alright, alright. Don't don't get any ideas, I, egg boy. I don't I don't even get that reference. I'm just using it because I don't know. Pretty rude. No, we're done we're done with egg boy. We're done with egg boy. No more egg boy. Egg man. Sorry. Uh. Alright, so so there's a set of stairs at the back of the room, and there's a bar, right? So, if we needed to have a bit of cover, there's some cover there. I don't know if there's anybody with some good rain spells, wink wink, at, at Una, but if we can get them in there to kind of distract Pell, and then we have some, a couple folks come in from the front door, right? So now we have them on two sides. Um, well, at least that's two sides that they have to focus on at once. Meanwhile, I can I'll, face uh, through the wall on the back side. Now we have them on three sides, and I think that that should be enough of a distraction that our friend might be able to get in there and get somebody. You guys can run right back out the door, Una can run right back up the stairs, and I can pop on out of there without thinking about it. That's my thought. I'm gonna s silent image a layout of <laughs> the um, place for people who haven't uh, been inside at least with the current states in. Yeah. yeah, and just stick, stick, stay close to each other. The, stay close to the dungeon delvers, right? And uh, and and if there is a potion there, we should be able to distract him enough to at least give Canty and Pete a shot at it. You say there's liquor upstairs. I don't know what's upstairs. Yes, I don't either. I assume there's liquor upstairs, though. I could light it. We could light it on fire. There's, there's people, people. There's people in there. In yeah, there. There's a lot of people in there. Oh, that's uh, another yeah. risk with combat. I don't think they're going to care about, you know, collateral damage. But I'd rather not have any more death on my hands. Okay. Any, okay. if possible. <laughs> We're with you. One, it's not on your hands. Two, it is. I told everyone to eat this stuff. I peddled it. But you didn't know. No, but I bear some responsibility for it. All right, but okay. Yeah, that's the lowest level. Let's not do. Let's not do this right now. Okay. All, all I'll say is that sounds like a good plan. But I'd like to just. I'll, I can get. I can get two people, two of us, to run to the to the magic shop, see if there's anything useful that, that we can use. I think that's wise. Okay. Can I make a medicine check on the dying humans? Yeah. Most of them are being carted away, but there are still some who are here. To see, like, how long they have left. Mm -hmm. Uh, 14. They seem okay. I mean, as a, they don't seem to have changed terribly much. Uh, it's been about half an hour since they collapsed. Um, but they don't seem to have... They definitely are sweating more caramel, but that's about it. Okay, well, they don't look so bad, so I mean, I they look they look pretty bad. They just don't look worse. <laughs> they don't look they don't look like they're getting actively worse. Okay. So I think that 
it, you know, we have time for that if, if you want to do it. Okay, so I think it should be Una, because Una works there, and Everett, because Everett knows the most about magic. Okay, well, doing it right now, I'm going to get... Okay, so Longstrider does require a material component, but it's a pinch of dirt. So... There's dirt. <laughs> Um, I don't, I've never really done this before, but, um. <sighs> and you were Breathe quaking. it in. All right. Whoa. All right, let's go. Make your way over towards Gilligan's shop, or Gilligan's parents' shop. <clears throat> um, Gilligan's Island. Septa and Shandi Tether, what are you doing while they go? Um. I don't remember what else is in town. Um, if the plan is to legitimately like distract them for a while while Canteen Pete does their thing, should we actually have like? I mean, we're we're, we're trying to we're trying to distract by like not fighting, but we have a feeling it's going to turn into a fight, right? If we annoy them too much, do you want me to go in and I was, stall? We I was they gonna. To yet. I was gonna say, should I just talk Balthazar like? Balthazar, do you want to talk to them? Um, sure. I'll talk to them. I mean, we could get them focused on that. When is Pete making his move? I mean, how much time do we have? Yeah, Pete makes his move when Pete, uh, Pete's ready. You see Pete is inexplicably there again. Okay, um... I'll let the, uh, let the gang know about what's going on. I'm ready to go in whenever you're ready. Okay, All right, well, so what... let's wait till Una and Everett get back. But right. I think you should make him more dexterous, and I'm going to be a bug and cast Pass Without Trace, so then you can benefit from it. Can you do that? Oh, and you're going to, like, get on my, my shoulder or something? Yeah. Well, I'm yeah, going to be invisible, and I can't really make you invisible, so uh, you're going to be a floating bug. Just mime flying. <laughs> that still brings attention to you. Septon can make me invisible. Uh, not if I'm also oh. trying to help Pete out. Is that also concentrate? Yeah. Una, um, Una has actually, invisibility. You do know Una. Oh yeah, has Una has invisibility. Okay, cool. All right, well, so we wait, wait for your friends to get back, and you want me to distract them? You and I are gonna go in. I'm gonna be like, all right, play it fair. You're interested in my friend here. Mm. Talk to him, you know. Right. All right. I'm good. I'm. What? I'm fine with that. I'll be a distraction. Be yourself. No, <laughs> I'm very good at that. Cool. So, oh, you're gonna say something, Shandy? Yeah, I was just going. Uh, in the meantime, I can lurk near the door and keep an air out in case things break bad on the inside. Okay. All right. Uh, Everett and Una, you very quickly make your way um, the 10 ish minute walk uh, at this point, what, halved. So, five, you get there five minutes. Um, the, the spot. It's dark. The, the door is closed. The lights are off. Uh, I phased through the door. Oh, okay. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, you're you're inside. I open the door. It's locked. Oh, <laughs> it's still locked. <laughs> well, there's not like a no. It's like a key on the inside of the door. No, it's like a key. You lock it with a key. It's old timey. Uh, I'm going to investigate for a key. There is a no, key. No, it's on the fine. Inside. You can just you can just describe what you're seeing telepathically to me. Natural 20 plus okay. 5. You don't see a key, but you do see a Gilligan collapsed over a rack of items just sprawled out on the ground, breathing heavily. Uh, I'm yeah, gonna you, go you, you see some blood pooling on his side. Oh no! Uh, is it? It's it's blood from something other than the curse, or it's just the curse? He fell on a dagger. Oh, um, I, I, uh, pick him, I pick him up. You can't, dead? this not dude's, dead. this dude's fucking jacked, and your strength so far is not great. Okay. You uh, try to pick him up, you don't, and he goes, who's, 
What are you doing? Gilligan, Gilligan, I'm here with Una. I'm here to help you. Um, <sighs> do you have a do you have do you have a key to the door? It's my hip on my I grab hip. it. I run over the door. I open the door. <laughs> Una, um, he's he he fell on a dagger. <laughs> we gotta get him off. Sling body. Yeah. <sighs> Together, you manage to <clears throat> roll him off, and it's there's a there's an incision like right here on his side. Oh, that doesn't look good. <sighs> Are you feeling okay? <laughs> Do I look like I feel okay? No, most? no, you don't. Um, all right. Mm. Um, Can we not very good at medicine. Do you have anything to help, Una? I do. I've got the not. healing potion. Back on the room top shelf. I run and grab. Cool. Bring it back to him. I can't move my arms like. I put it in his mouth. Blood, 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 blood. <laughs> you see that the, the wound sort of closes up a little, but his condition doesn't improve. Right. Uh, what? What is? Hey, uh, the, um. What's there's happening? really, there's really bad people attacking right now. Um, uh, cursed things. You're under a curse right now. We're trying to fix it. No. Um, Eat some pastries. Oh, the damn pastries. If I know it's too good to be thrown. If you can make it, I don't think you uh, can. I can do Memorium. it. That's where everybody, okay. I don't think I can make it. Okay. I think you'll be fine here. You, you should be safe here, but is, is, can you help us? We need stuff. Uh, my father would kill me if you took this stuff without me. Can we bring it back? Make a persuasion check. But it's for an employee and in a town in need. Uh, 19. Alright, I can loan you. But you bring them back undamaged as soon as this is over. Yep. All right, all right, we will. That no consumables, leave those, because you can't bring those back. Yep. Okay. It, you realize that you're about to die, is, right? Yeah. He he leans up and he grabs you by the shoulder. You do not know how scary my father can be with shoplifter. Okay, understandable. Okay, so we there's a curse on the town. And there's a high-level magic user, and a and a really fast, scary monk. Do you have anything that might help us deal with I've any got, of those problems? I've got lots of things. Look around. So you, as you look around, you can see several things. Um, there is some of these things you've seen before. The Charlatan's Tome. It's like a fake wizard book for non-wizards. The Extendo Glaive, which can either be like a longsword-sized thing or a glaive, and it's magic. The Lantern from Beyond, which lets you see stuff that's already happened. Uh, the Moon Sickle Plus One, which is a moon, it's a sickle, and it also lets you cast Ranger or Druid spells better. Uh, portable Hole, which is a portable hole. Um, Qual's Feather Token, which I need to remember what that does. You can make a bird, you can make a rock. You can make a rock. R-O-C, rock. Um, that's a consumable, you can't take that, sorry. Um, the Ring of Domestic Disguise makes you look like furniture. Uh, the Pattern Pot lets you make things look patterny. A Ring of Free Action makes sure you can't be held or stunned or grabbed or whatever. Um, the Rod of Rulership, you can charm people with. The Staff of Frost, it's a staff and it does frost shit. Um, the Robe of Scintillating Colors, you can glow and make color bursts happen. And a Defender Rapier, plus three. What was the one before the Robe of Scintillating Colors? Staff of Frost. Do I know that if that staff would serve as a focus for Tether's magic? It absolutely would, yeah. All right, so we got to take this, because because I think that Tether's going to need something to cast magic with. So I grab that. You do know most of these things require attunement, so you'd have to spend oh, an hour yeah. with them. 
Mm -hmm. Well, I grab it anyway. Um, it's, a, it's a good stuff. Yeah, uh, and I, I think that that potentially the rod of rulership is also maybe a good uh, a good option for us, just so we can, you know, maybe maybe take a shot at charming those 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 folks out of their out of their out of their thing. Well, um, okay. Did you uh, cast whispers on any of us? Not on any. Uh, well, Shandi has the ear. And Aver it's on Averth as well. Arleth. Arleth. Fuck you. <laughs> They're different people! <laughs> I think also maybe the robe of scintillating colors, because we could use that as a distraction if we go with the distraction option. I don't know, what do you think, Una? I mean... I don't know, I would really- I need- I need a list. I'm sorry, I'm too overwhelmed. I'll give you a list. Can I make an arcana check in the room? I mean, like, obviously those are the things, but if, if there's anything, even if it's a consumable, that would, like, ease a curse, even if it doesn't- That's it, that's all- that's all that's there. Okay. Yeah. All right, I think that we should also Heather, take your... Yeah, you can... Somebody's there who can talk to me. Um, what? So you're reporting back to Shandi about this, Una? Well, I don't know. Uh, Tether was just asking if I could yeah, talk. Yeah, uh, I think Tether would be, be like, wait, did she cast wh whispers on any of us? She she cast whispers on Everett and um, Arleth. And, and I have Shandi has well. the ear that she has, so. Oh no, so Tether would have asked that out loud. That already happened. <laughs> no, I was like, I, so we can communicate. You can communicate through Shandi. Yeah, you have the ear. Oh, I, I thought, you, I thought, I, I, was, I was waiting for a prompt of like, or the saying, oh, I can. Talk. No, okay, Shandi no, has the ear, sorry. so you guys can I'm talk sorry. to each other. I'm sorry. Would, would I know? Um, would I know? Is the moon sickle a, a good? Would that be able to... to the to... moon sickle is... Uh, it gives you a plus one to spell attack rolls and saving through DCs with your druid and ranger spells. And that would also be able to focus druid magic? Yep. Okay, I grab that instead of the frosting. Cool. Uh, do you want to... Do you want to bounce this off of any of the... Um, any of the, the folks? Back? Yeah, I'll tell them what's there. Sorry, Great. I don't, I don't want to RP all this. Yeah, no, I get you. I get you. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll relay do, that. Yeah, all that info think, to the group. Wait, do you think the ring would be good? What is the What does the moon sickle look like? Uh, oh, fuck. yeah, it's a it's a big metal crescent moon with a handle. It's a moon. We just give them the fucking moon sickle. They want the rod. I, I the think they have. I think they know <laughs> what they're looking for. Try it. It's fine. We can try we it. Might as well, give it a I shot. Well. Wait, Septon, aren't you inside? Huh? No, he's not <laughs> inside. He's he's okay. I, thought, I, thought, I thought you had down. already gone. That in. was. I you were just... That's for when they get back. Okay, no. I thought you were buying time while they were at the store. No, I mean, no. Uh, there's no. We don't need to buy time. They're not threatening us. It's true. Like actively. They're passively um, threatening us. Do you I think the, love a passive threat. <laughs> the ring I'll, that can stop someone from being grappled or whatever. The, yeah, three action thing. Yeah. All right, so sickle. I grab the moon sickle, the ring of free action, the rod of rulership, the robe of scintillating colors. That's what I grab. Ring, rod, robe. I'll bring the hole. Dodge. Sounds dive. Like fun. Dip. <laughs> there is a there is a legendary rapier here. Oh, and I grabbed that. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I don't want I don't want to like put a highlight on that, but <laughs> Milligan, stop talking. You need your breath. <laughs> I grabbed the legendary rapier as well. It's a defender. Just, I'm, not, I'm not quite sure that Gilligan's polishing is up to my standards. I would not <laughs> deign to use something like that. Oh my god. <laughs> um. All right, so all of these things 
exist as normal D and D items. So if you want to look them up, or you can add them to your sheet via compendium if you want to. Okay. Um, cool. If they're on the right that. back, do we want to wait? Would we want to wait like the hour for me to attune to the moon sickle, or because I would need to do that for Pass Without Trace, or Sean, Septon, you serve food at your establishment, right? Yeah. Good food, like good meat? Yeah. Do you flavor your meat with sage sometimes? Probably, yeah, the steaks, that would make sense. Okay, so I can cast Pass Without Trace now if I get the, some of that sage. Uh, God, how fast can I make it to and from Greg's? Five minutes each way. <laughs> Better throw, throw dirt, dirt at me. you. Sure. Cool. Yeah. I'm off. As they're coming back, you go grab some sage from Greg's. And come on back. Eventually, I'll make it back together. Okay. Um, 10 p.m. is approaching. Hey gang. Uh, we go in. We get him chatting for a while. Pete goes to do his thing. If it starts to, if we think they notice Pete, I bust out the sickle and I'm like, "All right, all right, all right." We make the trade, or do we just go in and try to make the trade, and that's our distraction while Pete does his thing, or are we not trying the moon sickle? Um, I just think general distraction, and if you need to, yeah, do the moon sickle. But start with um, Balthazar first. Um, they haven't seen me yet, so they, maybe they won't question why I'm not there. I can be bug on him, pass without trace. Una can make me invisible. Yep. Um, give Canteen the, to wear the, to the ring. Oh, true, true. I think the ring might require attunement. Oh. Most of these things require attunement. Yeah. If it does, then we can just forget it. It does. Okay, forget the ring. Uh, I'm sorry, thinking. I burped. Most require attunement. Why not? We just let everybody attune. Do we have an hour to attune? I don't know. Seven. We don't know. You're right. It's a, it's a it's a it's a risk. We can or we'll have to decide whether or not we want to take. I don't know. I don't know. It might I mean, be it might be wise to be more prepared, but. We don't know how much time we have. Totally. I think we're only going to get one shot at this show. We should try and be as prepared as possible. And I think if that if an hour is going to do that, then that's what we should do. And if it's the wrong choice, get ready to roll new characters, y'all. <laughs> oh no! You're not in <laughs> you're not in danger. The town everyone else is in danger. Well, I mean, no, we're in zero are. danger. You could just leave. Okay. Great. Um, okay, so I'll, um, um, we'll have Chanty Pull a turn, attune say fuck it, I'm out. <laughs> Great, yay! Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll attune to the moon sickle, and um, you, I'll give it back to Septon, and Septon can use it as a distraction, but if it gets to a fight, maybe you can get it to me. Um, I'll try. Um, who, does anyone want to attune to this cloak? I'll attune to the robe. Okay. Does Do you need to attune to your attunement? Oh, yeah. Big time. Okay. I will attune to that. Okay. All right, well, let's uh, take a nap then, huh? For my rest, I would like to investigate to find and see and just hope that there's a medium-sized statue around. Yeah. Cool. Should um, I make an investigation check. Oh, big money, no whammies. Fuck, one second. Uh, tw 23. You find a medium-sized wooden statue um, out front of one of the houses in Ash Grove. Okay. It's uh, just a dude in robes. Cool. Um, yeah, it, it can be wooden. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Yeah. Cool. Um, okay, I, I, I sit next to it. And cool. rest for the hour. All rest. So, you've started resting at around ten forty ish. Sorry, nine forty ish. At ten, Una, 
you feel your sending stone vibrate. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> yeah. Back messages. The message comes through. It's Brom. We were on our way, but there's a fucking army out here. You hear the sounds of, like, yelling and, and, and metal clashing. Some fucking bandits wearing purple crystals. They say they're gonna come fight Pell or something? We can't make it. We're holding them off. Good luck. A what? What did you say? An army. Of purple crystals? Of people, of bandits wearing purple crystals. Wearing them? What do you mean wearing them? Like, okay, I'll just relay that, I'll just relay that to the group. Um. Okay, um, maybe that can be used as a good distraction. Hey, Pell, a lot of people with purple gems are after you. Why don't I say bring them over, though? Hey, bring them here. Do you want to let bandits into the town? If they want to fight Pell and Mel... They're gonna pillage on their way. Probably kill all the completely defenseless people. Yeah, that's that's not that's not an al an ally that you want. Um, historically speaking, just from my technically, my, my... Everett, you're not here. <laughs> you're, you're somewhere else. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, uh, well, it could. Uh, regardless, it could be re it could be used as a uh, uh, distraction. How do we um, know this wasn't part of their plan, though? Well, then, if we say it as a distraction, and if it distracts, awesome. If it doesn't, then it's part of their plan, and they'll think it's funny that we fell for it, and it'll still be a distraction. Sure. Just trying to examine all angles here. I, I, oh, I wasn't being mean. I was just saying it, maybe not be worried about that. Out, out of... Uh, just, did anybody take the ring of free action? Yeah. Canteen. Cool. Canteen Pete did. Hot damn, Canteen Pete. Also, Canteen, I know, I know, but we're going to have to give that back afterwards. All right. I mean, I don't really, I understand why it's going to be helpful in this situation, but I don't really, I got a kit, you know, I got my things that I like to use, and this is a whole different thing. Yeah, thing, just so. double checking. Yeah, yeah no problem. Oh. You get it. You, I, I, had to, I had to say it. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, they don't call me Canteen P for nothing, eh? It's canteens. Yeah. Canteens. Any winks? Multiple. Cool. Your rest ends at around 10.40. Um, and as you're all sort of gearing up, getting ready to go, you see Everett come back. But he's not alone. Hi. Hi. <laughs> See a wooden statue with robes just pff, 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 walking behind him. Take the rod. Nobody took the rod. Okay. Unless you wanted what, it, you could have attuned. What did the rod do? Uh, it's the rod of rulership. It's like charm people sort of deal. Shit. Do I need to be holding it? Mm -hmm. Actually, I didn't. Did you not attune to anything? I didn't attune to anything. Should I take the you, rod? You could have attuned to the rod. That's fine. Let's say I attuned to the rod. <laughs> so what? Um, what archetype did you pick, Everett? Healer's healer. The cool. healer. Um, can I talk to it? Oh yeah. So uh, this is this is my pal. Um, he's gonna help us out on this one. Do you want me to name it, or you can, or I can? Your choice. Is did it, did it have a name on the statue? It didn't. No. Um. Uh. So. Uh. So. 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 Um. This is my friend. Um. Uh, Groffshanks. Groffshanks. Uh. Meet. Meet the gang. Um. Thanks so much for for helping us out on this one. Hey, how's it going? I'm Groffshanks. <laughs> Groffshanks um, Graf is, a, is a pretty good healer. Yeah, uh, I used to be a surgeon in the uh, before this place was big. I was a surgeon for the uh, Shaded Alley, so I know how to knit people back together. You know what I mean? Groffshanks, um, 
Is there any chance that while we're finishing up planning here, you can, uh, uh, like, just help just bring some of these folks just a, a little yeah, bit yeah, more you back gotta, alive? You, you got, like, an operating center or something? I can, uh, I can go help them out. Um, can we create some sort of a, some sort of a, 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 a um, staging area for such a thing? Yeah, but you got, like, a place where you want these people. You just want me to do it in the street right here. Arleth, uh, Arleth, where would what makes the most sense? We're sending people to Favilar's Emporium, right? All right, yeah, so we can we that. have him at Favilar's Emporium until we? Yeah. Until we <laughs> and he reaches down and just hoists two people over his shoulders and starts clomping off. Awesome, thanks, Crouch. Thanks. Okay. All right, so, we, uh, um, we ready to I go? I will start casting. I'll cast Pass Without a Trace. And I will cast Enhance Ability on... Oh. Alright, I'm gonna sneak in through the top there. Um, you're gonna do your talky-talky, you're gonna do your distracty-distracty, and I'm gonna nab that thing off of him. Yeah, I'll turn into a spider on him. Um, before I do, Una, can you make me... Can you make my spider invisible? Invisible spider. The spider is invisible, and then he vanishes too. All right. So the topics are Balthazar, then maybe the Crescent Moon Dagger, then. All right. Uh, I'm gonna go Ghost Zone and um, watch from just outside of the wall. Cool. Yeah. And vaguely see through oh. the wall here. I'm sorry, Blake. Real quick, is the Moon Sickle the un uncommon one, very rare? It's or the rare? plus one. Plus one. Cool. So that's what uncommon. Yeah. All right. Ever, can you see people who are invisible when you're in ghost zone? Or no. I no. No, I can't. Doesn't you can, okay. you can see people on the ethereal plane and people on the material plane that would normally be able to be seen. I just realized I don't have a way to talk to Tether or Canteen, but so it passed. So cool. You all had in the guards step aside and let you by um the dirty delvers are waiting by the door to rush in in case they need to um tether you can't <laughs> you can't see the guy who's carrying you so you're just sort of going for a ride like floating through the air as yeah. nimbly the side of the wall the building next to the minotaur <laughs> he scales and then you see <laughs> up onto the top of the roof of the minotaur as well as he works his way around <laughs> hangs down towards a window and very gently you hear uh, you hear just the briefest like shoo, and the window <laughs> opens on up and you get inside cool. downstairs Septon's going in with Aldazar yeah and I assume Shandi and Una are with me mm -hmm. cool then let's get you on the map Arlith Arlith comes too He can fight. And then Everett, you are sort of back over here. Cool. And Gropshanks gives me an extra six health just by being alive. Does he have what to be it? near you for that or is he just there? As when yeah, on, the, on the occasion that it have that I bring him out in the world, he does that. Cool. Just by being him, you know. Cool. You make your way in. Pal is over by the bar now, drinking a little bit. The door opens and Mel says, "Oh, how's it going? You liking the game so far?" It's an interesting one. I uh, wanted to chat with you. Mm hmm. Earlier, you took a notice of this hourglass here. I did. I'm willing to level with you. You were right. There is somebody in there. You want to meet him? Yeah. Balthazar, you want to, you want to say hi? <clears throat> Hello, my name is Balthazar. It's nice to meet you. Hi, Balthazar. How much do you want to get out of there? Althadar doesn't respond. 
No, Very touchy subject. for real. How much do you want to get out of there? Um, I'd very much like to get out of here. I can make that a reality for you. Silence from Balthazar. Tether upstairs. You begin to make your way there, slowly, quietly, passing without trace towards the stairs. Sort of dodging around bottles or big kegs of alcohol. Yeah. Well, is that all you wanted to talk to me about? Your friend? Wanted to introduce you to? Okay. Maybe have a chat? I like to have chats face to face. So let's see if we can arrange that. And he begins to cast the spell Disenchant. Mm. Uh, Everett is going to um, go to the outside of the wall just by the stage. You can move yourself. How long do, does, can I make an arcana check? Do I know how long Disenchant takes to cast? It takes an action. Okay, I'm going to immediately go to, to the stage. Um, and uh, I am going to um, pop into existence. Cool. Uh, I might have to move you there manually because it's through a wall. Hang on. I don't know if there's a 5e. There isn't. He made it. Spell? The cat. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is not a spell. No. No. Uh, this is something that, sure. that he created. Um, and. He is, or is there? Or you have? He's casting the spell. What do you? What Great. Are you doing? So as so as as I as I pop into existence, I'm gonna say, "Hey, buddy, good to see you," and use my robe of scintillating colors. All right. What is? Tell me what it does. Uh, this robe has three charges. When you wear it, you can use your action to expend one charge. To so you have to use an action. It's not a reaction. He's gonna get to cast his spell first. Okay. So after he does that, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Where are we? Cool. So as he raises his hand towards Balthazar's amulet, you see the thing begin to glow, and the glass begin to crack. Um, at this point, Everett boom, pops out, casts the spell of... It doesn't seem like the spell worked, but it seems like it made some progress. Um, Everett, what does it do? Uh, can I, can I, can I say to Una to look away first, or is that not? Cool no, now? not if you're jumping out. Okay, cool. Um, great. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it then, and we're gonna hope that everybody makes a good wisdom save. Uh, anybody who can see me, um, needs to make a DC wisdom saving throw or become stunned till the effect ends, and until the end of my next turn, everyone has disadvantage against an attack roll. Cool. So Mel makes a 19. Succeeds. Pal doesn't actually do as well. Makes a five. And then they, okay, they fail. And the candied guards fail. 14, 17, fail. Is a 14 a success or a failure? 14 is a failure. The oh. only success is the 17. <clears throat> All right, the rest of you. Got a seven. 12. 19. All right, Arlif got... Come on, pull it up. A 17. Arlif succeeds. So... What is it? It's disadvantage on attacks against you. And you are stunned if you fail. Oh, and we're stunned. Everyone gets disadvantage against me, but anybody who fails is stunned. Cool. Why don't we roll initiative?
Let me add y'all to the initiative count here. Well, at least we took Pell out for at least a minute. <laughs> sure you did. <laughs> Around. <laughs> Around, yeah. Six uh, seconds. How long does, wait, well, how long does the stun last? This I think stun lasts indefinitely. No. Definitely doesn't no. last indefinitely. It, it'll it'll have a time on it. Uh, okay, I'll take a look and see. If it doesn't, um, yeah, just creatures that, creatures that can that can see you have disadvantage attack rolls. They uh, must succeed a decent wisdom save or become stunned until the effect ends. Uh, How long? Oh, does... so I guess it's just that it's just till the end of my next turn. Cool. Yeah. Cool. All right, I'm gonna put on the fight music. Or not. Yeah, let's put on the boss fight music. Um, cool. Mel goes first. Oh, do we eat? Or Pell goes first, sorry. We roll, oh yeah, no, you guys didn't roll your, your initiative yet. S Everett and Septon, I need initiative from you. Oh. Sorry, uh, did you? I see the tracker, hold on. Oh, I rolled a deck, there we go. I rolled initiative. 14. Great. The um, tracker is the second tab with the fist. You okay, can just cool. hit the you can hit the dice there and it'll do it for you. Oh, awesome, awesome, awesome. With the fist dice. Cool. Cool. Pell is first. As a bonus action, she is going to use three key points to not be stunned anymore. And then she's going to do what she wanted to do this whole time and beat the shit out of you. Just sprint right over to you. I'm going to start doing some shit at you. Or should she do something else? She'll do this this turn. Yeah. All right, she is going to make three strikes on you, Everett. Disadvantage. Yes. 13 on the first one. Misses. Thank you, Mage Armor. 21 on the second one. We'll definitely hit God. All right. Ten points of magical bludgeoning and four points of magical fire damage to you. Fourteen. Okay. Make a Constitution saving throw. Okay. Uh, natural one. You are stunned. As she stunning strikes you. So, this last attack does not have disadvantage. That is a 16 to hit. Yes, that will hit. 15 points of magical bludgeoning damage. 7 points of magical fire damage. Alright, I am down. Oh, that's not the button I wanted to push. Cool. Everett, death save. 17. Success. Shandi. I am stunned. Goodbye. No, you're not. End of Everett's next turn. Already happened. Oh. And Tether, you're, uh, jo you're joining the initiative at the end of this round. I am? Okay. Okay, in that case, I'm going to need Sheko. You can pull him out, I think. I can. You're right. Shh. 
Alright. Shekko is gonna get deployed. Right. At max distance from me. Which is. Is that 30? Sorry, I was very far zoomed out and couldn't not read the text at all. That's <laughs> 20, not 30. Yeah. So, 10 more. Um, and then I'm going to use half my movement to swap places with Sheko. Cool. I'll move him to where you were. Yep. No, you got it. Um, and then I'm going to use the rest of my movement to get up here and up next to Everett. Cool. Um, and then I'm going to make a strike with the Defender Rapier, and I'm going to opt not to use the plus three and instead add that to my AC for this turn. Cool. Um, is there a way to make it not do the plus? I guess I'll just do just mine. Just subtract it. three yeah. to whatever you, you get, yeah. Okay, so that's a 17 to hit. 17 does hit. Okay, uh, actually, I don't think, hmm. that only added my dex, not my, my uh, proficiency. So, so it would have been would've hit anyway. funny. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, cool. So damage. Uh, that is 11 piercing damage. 11 piercing damage. So as you stab this rapier towards her, you, you see it make contact. But there's this wall of heat between you and her, and it seems like through that heat, it didn't hurt her. The heat absorbed the damage. Okay. Um, I will... Oof. Regardless, I guess I'll take my second attack to try to draw her attention from Everett's. Is to, when you're knocked out, Everett, do you go to book form? Or is that only when you? It's only when he like goes down, down. He's on the ground okay. right now. Cool. Okay, I'm just going to attack again then. That's a 16. 16 does not hit. Okay. So the first one um, seems to almost make contact, but it doesn't seem to do anything. The second one, she just poof, parries it out of the way. Cool. Uh, that'll be for me then, and Shaco goes cool. away because he's past 30 feet. Make a dexterity saving throw at the end of your turn. Okay. Uh, another... S wait. Oh, it didn't go through. Uh, 23. Alright, you're going to take five points of fire damage as your proximity to this just heat wave starts to singe your clothes and skin. Okay. Alright. Septon. Okay, Septon is going to walk. You see Mel preparing to cast Disenchant again. Yep. We're going to walk up to there. And I need both Pell and Mel to make wisdom saves as I cast uh, Hold Person. Cool. Pell. Third level. Pell makes a 15. Mel makes a natural 20. You said a 15? 15 for Pell. Pretty sure that beats my... Yeah. Yep, that, they both beat it. Okay. Um... I don't think I have anything else I can do as a bonus action here that's useful. Um, who's next on the list? Nope, Mel's next on the list. Well. I'll say it's been a pleasure, and I'll inspire Balthazar. Okay. Mel is going to cast Disenchant on Balthazar second time. The hourglass shatters. The room 
grows dim. And when it comes back, there's a man standing in the center of the floor. Tall, muscular, skin is blue and smooth. Um, little lines of gold down, sort of defining his abdominal muscles. Um, elven in form, long, I'm gonna change the music for this. This needs a different song. Um, long, um, long golden hair streaming down his uh, shoulders and protruding from his head is a rise not unlike the beetle creature that you fought um, a long time ago. He sort of rolls his head to one side and the other. <sighs> Sighs. It says, oh, it's good to be out. He turns, looks at you, Septon, says, it was fun. And then a little <laughs> nod and smile disappears. <laughs> Mel looks a little disappointed. Oh, I was hoping he'd cause more chaos. No, oh, well, you didn't have what we had. <laughs> oh, well, I'm sure that'll come back to haunt you. <laughs> um, that's the end of his turn. <sighs> Next up is Arleth. Arleth is going to run forward to here, grab onto his chest, and cast Power Word Heal. Oh, no, it's a touch spell. <laughs> Never mind. No, actually, sorry. Wait a minute. Yeah. Cool. So he is going to cast Power Word Heal, but he is going to spend a sorcery point to, um, what's the name of the thing? You know the thing. I admit. <laughs> extended spell yeah, to extended spell. to extend the range of it over to Everett. Everett, you regain all your hit points. <laughs> Arlen, what? As oh sorry I goofed it. Um, as you regain all your points and come to consciousness, those of you who can see Arleth see that as he casts Power Word Heal, blood just out of his mouth, and he falls to his knees, falls unconscious. You can see, though, that there's, like, a teal glowing something going on under his shirt as he slumps over. Um, the candy guard is going to take... The audacious candy guard is going to take a step towards Mel. The caustic candy guard is also going to take a step towards Mel. Una. Can we, so I don't know the mechanics of the talk, of like whispering. Can I whisper to Una outside yeah. of actions? Yeah. Talking's a free action, but within reason. Can I just say, uh, tell, uh, tell, uh, Ellie to tell, um, tell, uh, uh, oh, fuck, I made up his name, and now I can't remember his name. <laughs> Arl Arl Groff, Groff Shanks. Tell, tell Ellie, tell Groff Shanks to get back in here. I didn't think we need him, but we need him. Grop Chicks is really far away away at this point. He's only gone he's only gone three rounds, right? We've only been doing this for three rounds. Well, since combat started. Oh okay. Ellie? Where's Ellie? At Favelars, I thought. Yeah, she's in the communication I center. I can't talk to her. Oh, I thought she was like, you can talk to me whenever because I have No, she she can send med she can send spells if you tell her to talk to people, she can do oh, that. She, but... Okay, cool. Great. Well, that's awesome. I need a bigger screen, y'all. Um, you can zoom in. I know, but I like seeing the whole thing at mm. all times. What, 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 when I want to make it bigger, I like grab, I like touch a, click a corner, and then drag it out. Do you think that'll work for the screen? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Um, beeline up here. And because I hate him, I'm gonna shoot daggers at, <laughs> um, pun intended, at Mel. Cool. Uh, 18. Miss. Fuck this boy. One at eh, one at a guard then. Um, nineteen. Towards which guard? Audacious. Cool. A nineteen will hit. Uh, six points of psychic damage. Cool. Anything else? Uh, no. All right. The eager candied guard is going to step here, and the active candied guard is going to step here. And that'll bring us to the end of the round, at which time, Tether, you and... I'm just going to put your token on the field, but that's that's Pete. <laughs> okay. Um, music stopped. Because you're a bug. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't really do much. Um, why don't you... I'm going to add you to the combat if you want to roll initiative for me. And Pete will move on your initiative as well. Okay. Cool. All right. Pell is first. Pell's gonna do something interesting. Pell is going to jump into the air. Not provoking opportunity attacks. And land, just jump straight up. And as you see, as she goes up, earth and fire starts to wreathe around her fist. And she is going to land right here and slam her fist into the ground. Um, I need Everett and... Actually, I need everyone to make a strength saving throw. Mm, yeah. Not, not Tether slash Pete. You're good. Eight. All right. Um, 12, Una? Yeah. All right. 15 from Septon. Okay, so Una and Everett fail. Arleth also fails. Una, you are pushed back 10 feet to here. Everett, you are pushed back 10 feet into the wall and take two points of bludgeoning damage. I can't go through the wall? You're not in ghost mode. You didn't take that feature, remember? No, no, I have incorporeal movement. I don't have undead resistances. Yeah, you you have incorporeal movement if you choose to move through the wall. But oh, okay. Right now you're yeah. That's that's how that moves. That's how that move works. You can choose to go through the wall, and if you end in the wall, you take damage or whatever. But yeah. Okay. You're just not you're not always just incorporeal because then you're unhittable. Same way how it works for ghost stat block. Um, Arlith is gonna. Get pushed back 10 feet as well. Um, the guards do not have to make the save. Um, and then a bunch of bunch of things are going to happen. This is going to take a second. I apologize. Where did I put these?
eight, nine. I encourage you all to read the names Ten. of these fire pillars. I'm sure they're very funny. I've got a naughty fire pillar right <laughs> next to me and a braggadocious fire pillar. Next to a bigoted fire pillar. <laughs> oh, kill it! <laughs> the fuck's wrong with this fuck guy? That guy. <laughs> oh, but there's a hilarious one. A sneaky <laughs> <and> mis <laughs> misunderstood earth pillar. <laughs> Misunderstood. Fire pillar. Thrifty fire pillar. <laughs> Rapid. Oh, jeez. You know, we just need some wind pillars. We'd have earth wind, wind pillars. You want some wind pillars? That's me after some chili, am I right? <laughs> I believe that's a combo, fire and wind pillar, you know? Yeah, that's me after chili, you know oh, what I mean? <laughs> oh, oh, yo, don't worry, it's burning. <laughs> am I right? And the earth comes after my morning coffee, am I right? <laughs> cool. So, um, all of these More pillars like appear as basically the earth in some places begins to bubble with heat and fire and begins to crack and shake in other places. And that's all it does for now. Everett, you're prone. Okay, Misty Step. Um, let me see, how far can I go? Is there a way to do this without drawing? Um, There's a ruler tool. That's this guy. There we go. 30 feet, 30 feet, 30 feet. Nope, that's bad. 30 feet this way. Yes. Uh, okay. Um, well, no. Oh, that's 30 feet. Okay. That says 30 feet. Great. Um, yeah, I'm going to bop over right into the corner of this bar here and just kind of like duck underneath the bar. Cool. You can move yourself there. Cool. Um, there I go. Boom. Um, and then I'm going to cast a cantrip since that's a bonus action and that's all I can do and I'm going to cast infestation on Mel Counter um, counterspell great I mean as long as they're burning counterspells on cantrips I'm happy mm -hmm. alright um, cool uh, that is my turn alright tether so the ground's rumbling under your boy's feet. So he's gonna... Oh, and if I didn't make it clear, I duck behind the bar. Yep. After that, great. 60. He's gonna dash there and that's his turn, so. Right in front of the guy? Cool. He, he's invisible. Okay. Shundi. Okay. Um, I'm going to bring Sheko back, because I just put him in the corner, because I knew he'd be coming back. <laughs> um, I'm going to place him up by the bar and then switcheroo it was on top of a fire pillar cool I didn't even realize that yeah um, alright well in that case I'm going to use his movement then to move him one up then cool uh, and then I'm going to attack via Shaco. And this time I am going to add the plus three to the rape here. Cool. That is a flaccid 20. Flaccid 20 will hit. Uh, 11 piercing. 11 piercing. Cool. Again, it doesn't really seem to affect her figure as much. Mm 
Mm. Yeah, I'm just I'm I'm not gonna attack again. I'm just gonna call it there with with Sheko in, in place. So Sheko dies at the end of the turn because no matter what, he's gonna take uh, heat damage from being right next to her. So he poof, evaporates. Septon. Back to, to timeout corner. Real. All right, my turn. Mm -hmm. You notice use... that uh, under the unconscious people around the room, there are pillars and fire bubbling. <sighs> Unfortunately, I have another thing I gotta do. Or I'm going to do. I'm gonna do something. Uh, bonus action, Arleth, get back with us. And he's gonna throw a healing word on him. Cool. Um, I'm then going to walk 30 feet up to here. How much, nope. how much, how much does he heal? Oh, right. I have to roll that. Uh, eight. Cool. Septon is then going to walk 30 feet up to here. Um. Yeah, and then Septon is going to use his free action to shift into a shadow dragon. Uh, and I need. And then I'll use my action. I need Mel, the caustic candy guard, the audacious candy guard, and the active candied guard to make deck saves. Cool. I've seen you do that before. <laughs> Not on purpose. Um, shadow are you dragon doing? Are you doing shadow. a the shadow, shadow dragon born? Yeah, yeah. These wings <laughs> pop out of his back. His claws <laughs> wreath out. Is it the same? It's the same. Though? It's the same form. Yeah. Oh. So are you it's doing? A, are you doing a cone? Because you can't see Tether and Pete. They're invisible. It is. It is a cone. Will it hit them? I don't know. Let's draw it. What's the? It's a 15 foot cone. The measuring tool says it would hit 15 foot cone. Sorry, I'm not even doing I'm not doing it from the right corner here. That's an 18 foot cone. It looks like it would hit Mel. That's the main target is Mel. I would even be willing to say it's centered on Mel. You're going to have to move closer if you want it centered on Mel. Oh, I cannot move closer. Wait, is it? Can I hit Mel from here, or is that just not? He's not in fifteen feet. I've, I've drawn a fifteen cone, foot foot cone from your corner there. Oh, that blows. The measuring of a line puts him fifteen feet away from me. All right. Um. It's a square though, in the little corner. Maybe but the the lit the lit up squares are the ones that it affects. Got a toe. Yeah. Toe. Um. Whatever. Deck saves. Cool. They're not good at those. Oh. Uh... The lowest was a natural 15. The lowest was a 15? Then yeah. they all succeed, but they will all take half damage. Cool. Which is... Uh, da, 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 da. That. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You're all bad. They take, yeah, horribly. They take 12 necrotic damage. Have to six. Yeah. Five D8s came out as 12. Sorry there, bud. That's rough. Guys, I just want to say that Ariana DeBose won an Oscar. That's great. Oh my gosh. Oh, I forgot it was the Oscars tonight. Sorry, guys. Right? Yeah. I didn't know that until right before we started this. All right. That is my turn. Cool. It's Mel's turn. This is an interesting development. Things you never want to hear your DM say. No, it's interesting because it's sort of... He didn't count on this. In fact, he didn't know about this. Good. Yeah. Good! <laughs> Good. That, and you never want to hear your DM go, Oh! I don't know. That can be a good thing. 
we don't like that. Either. And 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 um, and you never want to hear a DM go. Or how much HP do you have total? Yeah. He is going to cast banishment, Septon. All right, what am I rolling? And your native plane isn't this one. No, it is not. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> I'm interested to see which one it is. You, it's it's the plane you're born on, so. Okay, okay. What am I rolling? <laughs> you oh are God. rolling. Bye, Sefton. Sefton's going to the Feywild. Um, oh, you got it, you got it, you got it. There's a still a roll. Don't say that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're wrong. Charisma. It's oh, it's a charisma saving throw. Gods of trust. Oh, charisma save. I'm oh, quite good at those. Peter, don't worry. I would have shouted that. All right, here we go. 19. Pass. You're good. Can I, uh, can I, can I, like, glare at him? Like, eyes flash as I pass it? Sure. I'm trying, I'm trying to piss Whoa. off Mel. He's still smirking. Um, all right. That's his turn. Arlif is not dead anymore. He's going to roll over to here. Right up to you, Una. And sorta, of, can you still talk in your head? Yep. I can't cast any more spells. I can't use my voice. My vocal cords are quite literally destroyed right now. Yeah, Dave. <laughs> my God. He he's then gonna run over and grab no, this person yeah, yeah, off yeah, of the so fire just... and pull them off of the fire square. Uh, the guards stand still. Una. Mm-hmm. So, when you say pillar, are... They're not I pillars. Guess? They're not pillars yet. The earth is just shaking under there, and there's flames bubbling under the other did ones. Did I see... Ar did Arleth, like, go over one? Or yeah, yeah. He, he, he like... No, he, he went over one, and he pulled somebody off. Okay, okay. Then that makes my path a little nicer. Um... Shit, shit, shit. Um... All right, I'm going to take de 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 de. Hold on, things changed. Talk to you about it after. I'm gonna take, um... Ah, oh, shit. Well, there goes my character sheet. Anyway, I'm gonna take the dash as a bonus action. Mm -hmm. Um, but I have to vault over the bar, I suppose. Yeah. Or... Okay. If you're trying to get over the bar. Um, I'll just have you make an acrobatics check for that. Right here is... Okay. I'm trying to... Oh, well. Acrobatics... Um, hold on. Since I lost my sheet at the worst possible time. Yeah, 17. Yeah, you're good. Boom. And then, um, could I be on top of the bar? Yeah, that's fine. And so Sean shows that Sean D is not in the way, and I still have like a little bit more movement to jump down at the end. Is that allowed? Yeah, that's more than allowed. Okay. Um, I'm gonna help uh, audacious boy again. Cool. Cause I thought, wait, wait, wait. Bonus action. I haven't done my action. Okay. Making sure I got action economy. Uh, <laughs> twenty-five. Twenty-five hits. Suppose since I'm standing up on a fucking bar, I don't get sneak attack. <laughs> no, because technically yeah. Pete and Tether aren't threatening, yeah, yeah. so. Are you kidding me? Oh, wait, 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 no, they're invisible, sorry. Yeah. Uh, eight points of psychic damage. So. We're just will guys, we're not threatening at all. Guy. And then I'm gonna boop. Uh, I, I technically wanna be like there, but it won't let me, you know? 
Like I want to be. Oh. Yeah, you can. You can. You're in that square. You're just under the bar yeah. now, rather than yeah. on top of it. That's fine. Okay. All right. The last two candy guards don't do anything, and at the start of the round, everything fucking explodes. The stone pillars all burst 30 feet into the air, um, rocketing any unconscious bodies that were under them straight upwards until they all fall and land with sickening thuds on the ground. How many was that? Three, four, five, so far. The flame, so the flame pillars all explode upwards into a column of flame, though no one is affected by that. Sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six corpses in the room. Tether. Humanoid corpses. I don't know if I'm looking at them right now, though. Not yet, necessarily. No. All right, Pell, yeah, exactly. Pell at her turn is going to look at Septon, look back at Mel. Mel says, I have a theory. Come here. She goes, right. she runs up over here. And then she is going to use some key points to throw down a flame wall. Great. Oh, did I not? Did I fuck up wall? <sighs> Shit. I fucked up my wall of fire token. Damn it. That's so frustrating. I had a whole token set up for this. Whatever. Yay. <laughs> Cool. Wall of fire. <laughs> Blazes across the room and she uses some more key points. And that is her turn. The fire is facing towards you guys. So Pell did the wall of fire? Yep. She hit the she she swept her hand forward and fire just <laughs> burst out through the whole place. How does Wall of Fire work? So, I can, I can tell you right now. So there's a big old wall of fire. Um, it's long, it's 20 feet high, so it's going pretty much up to the ceiling here. Um, and opaque. Unfortunately for you, Septon, I think. Um, what? You, you attack the closest person you can see, my friend. That's not how it's worded. Well, how's it worded? You cannot differentiate between friend and foe and must attack all creatures nearby. My target's Mel. You can't differentiate Mel from Septon anymore. Or from Shandi anymore. I can't differentiate my targets? You 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 relinquish control to the shadow inside of you and you want to hunt now. Yeah, but I, I don't like have a tar I can't like be like, oh, this was my target when I shifted. We're, we're gonna we're gonna make a roll on your turn to see if your animal brain decides you want to go for the easy targets on this side of the fire or the hard targets that you hate more on that side of the fire. How's that okay. sound? We'll make sure. a roll. Uh, but the fire goes out towards you guys, and you have to make deck saves and stuff. Um, and it does damage. You can't see through it. Um, Everett, it is your turn. I have a theory as well. Um, so lightning can go through fire, right? Yeah. My, my, my arcana brain would just know that. Yeah, you could, you could shoot a spell through this. That's fine. Okay. And they probably wouldn't know that it was being cast considering there's a wall of fire in between us. The, it is opaque. They can't see you. Hell yeah. Call lightning. Um, right where I remember Mel and Pell being. You're inside, bud. I, I, I hate to do this, but I've done it to Michael so many times, you're inside. So lightning can come from the ceiling and hit the top of the place. That's the nerf on that spell. Did it already cast call lightning, though? In yeah. here? 
he tried, but he got counterspelled. Okay. So okay. storm clouds roll in in an area in the sky, and the lightning comes down from there. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have call lightning. I have lightning bolt. Oh, oops. Lightning yeah. bolt's great. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I've I've read it. I read. I just like know the spell call lightning, but I have lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. Cool. Lightning bolt. It perfectly aligns. fine. Cool. Uh, and I'm gonna do it where I remember them being, and because it was a half a second ago, I think I can be yeah, fairly you can, accurate. You can. Yeah. More or less. Dexterity season. saving throw for everyone in a five foot line, a five foot wide line. So are you just know. shooting it straight forwards? Uh, yeah, I'm going to try to shoot it exactly where I remember uh, Mel being. Cool. So that's going to be the Caustic Candied Guard and Mel. Cool. Dex saves for both of them. The Caustic Candied Guard, which is a pretty apt named actually, gets a 12. Fail. Mel gets. An 18 minus 2 for a 16. That meets it, beats it, so they succeed. He still take half damage. He will take half. Okay. Um. Is the. Is the room 10 feet tall? The room is. The room is 20 feet tall. It could have fit. What? According according oh. to how the spell is worded. Okay, fair enough. Oh. The way the way that I've played it with Michael in home games in the past is you have to be oh. outside. And I've also only let NPCs cast it outside, but if you want to cast, it, in, cast it outside. Yeah, if you want to cast we can make a rolling. If you want it to work inside, then NPCs can do it too now. Alright, Candy fine. Friend is gonna have to take He's um, gonna take a million damage. He's gonna take thirty four. Yeah, he's dead. And Mel no, will take he, seventeen damage. You don't know. You don't know if he's dead, but Cool. Um, okay. And with concentration that... Concentration check? He's not concentrating on anything. Qualifier? He oh, didn't, he didn't do that. Tell. Yeah. Um, cool. Uh, you are in the range of taking damage of Qualifier if you stay here. Oh, great. Then I will move... There. Cool. Is that fine? Yeah, you're good. You're out of range. Although, let cool, me I'll, let I'll me check each creature and it's... I think you might have taken damage at the top. No, no. Only if you're in its area do you take damage at the top. So you're good. Cool. I will move to there. Sick. All right. I, did anything happen with this thing? Um, can I... How do I show you this? I don't the know. Thing that, uh, oh, there we go. This thing. Oh no, I guess I can't. What? The, the 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 characters. Yeah. Okay. That yeah. Sorry. That right. one should have been a pillar. Yeah. So the stairs are kind of destroyed. Awesome. All right. Pete is between a rock and a hard place here. Um, yep. So he is going to make an acrobatics check to sneak between these guys without being noticed. At advantage? No. He didn't need it. So gonna sneak over here. And then he's gonna use his action to try to rustle, pickpocket, slide a hand check against Mel. At advantage. <laughs> advantage was good. Wait, why does he have advantage? Enhance ability. Enhance ability's gone. All right, then I'm gonna re-roll that one. It's okay. Canteen Pete! Mel doesn't seem to notice yet. Canteen Pete is still digging around in there. Shundi! Um, do I take damage at the start of my turn for being next to the wall? End of your turn. Okay, sweet. Um... And it's 10 feet. Just so you know. Okay. In that case, I'm going to move uh, um, yeah. I'm going to move back a bit and then ah, damn it. That's still out of range, right? Yeah, you're, you're farther than 10 feet away there. Okay. 
and I'm just gonna launch my echo past the wall. Can you place it somewhere you can't see? Yes, we've we've ruled this before. Sweet. If if it's just, if it's like in a wall or something, it just instantly dies. Cool. Yeah, it's on the other side of the wall. And now I. I've realized I can't see through its eyes yet. So. <laughs> Sits over there. <laughs> I can see through its eyes next level. <laughs> well. Hmm. Guess that's fucking it. All right. Septon, at the top of your Wait, turn. Before, yeah, hold yeah, on, before yeah. I make this roll, I'd like to I'd like to check some things. Go for it. Yeah, yeah. let's let's hash this out. Let's hash this out real quick, real quick. This is important because it could the really. Says, the wording says, while in this rage, you cannot cast spells or concentrate, and you cannot differentiate friend from foe, and must attack all creatures nearby. Now, yeah. this implies I could use features that Septon has. For example, this thing has a claw attack, Septon has multi attack. Yeah. I c okay, okay, I yes. could do that. And if I had perhaps a racial feat, could I use that? I don't think my gut would say no because this sort of overrides your racial features. But what is it? We can we can do it can a case by my, case. Can I use my face step? Yeah, you can use your face step. Okay, in that case, getting to my target on the other side of the wall and the targets on this side of the wall are no different in difficulty. Regardless, there's a guy right next to you and there's a guy over there. So I I do want you to still the DC will be lower, but I need you to make a wisdom save to see who you're targeting first cuz there's a guy 10 feet from you and there's a guy who you'd have to teleport to get to. Okay. Does it say alive creatures? Because there's technically a dead body right there. Too. Yeah, he's hunting. It's it's. He... I'm interested in alive creatures. Yeah, he's hungry. He's not hungry. He hunts for sport. He's hungry. It's the thing we've. That's the thing we've talked he's about. Horrifying. <laughs> Most certainly is. Um. All right. A wisdom save. You said. Wisdom save. What is it? A sixteen. Sixteen passes. You can attack Mel. All right. Bonus action. Septon goes. Over here, uh, everyone within five feet takes three damage. <laughs> Tether and Pete are no longer invisible as Pete's hand inside the robes poof, becomes visible. Tether, you are Tether again because the spider has yep. one HP. And you're right. on Pete's shoulders. He's... I'm He's sorry, strong four, enough to hold on to you. Damage. All right, Tether, so you take three damage because one goes to your bug, three goes to you. Pete takes four damage and is visible. You are Tether, visible on his shoulders. Uh, the guard over here takes four damage and Mel takes four damage. I need to reroll to see if my breath weapon comes back. It does. 15 foot cone with Pal and Mel in it. Yep, let's draw it. I genuinely don't think you'll be in the cone. Uh, I can't get both well, of them. Oh no, you could probably angle it. I'd say you could get Pell Mel and that guard in a cone. Dex saves. I think you can angle that, yeah. Dex saves. Pell gets a natural 20. Mel doesn't do so good. That's a flaccid one. And the guard gets... Yeah. The guard gets 15. Uh, that is a success. Cool. All right. I am going to... Uh, failures take 21, successes take 10. All right. What's, sorry, was the 15 a fail or a success? The 15 was a success. All right. And what type of damage is this, necrotic? Necrotic. Cool. <laughs> Pell seems unaffected. Mel has looked better. <laughs> I want him to look worse. My turn is over. <laughs> 
Actually, wait, can I inspire people? No, that's, I'm gonna go ahead and say, you don't have the mental aptitude to do that. What other, what other bonus actions do I have? Whose only mind is on murder. What other bonus actions do I have? Is there anything silly here? Um. Now, nah. all right. That is my turn. And it's the second round in shadow All right, form. It's Mel's turn, and that necrotic breath <laughs> blasted through him. And he turns, and you can see that stupid smile off his face. The smile is gone. And for the first time, do you see some fear in his eyes? Good. <laughs> he is going to say. Let the beast riot. We'll find another place. He doesn't. He's not British. Let the beast riot. We'll, we'll find another place. And he's gonna grab Pell, and they're both gonna <laughs> disappear. Uh oh. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> um. Cool. Arleth is up. Arleth is gonna look around at all the dead people and be really upset for a minute. Um. But then he's going to. Pull out a blast ball. <laughs> I was walking. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. He's gonna pull out a blast ball. He's gonna run up and he's gonna he's gonna chuck it at the audacious candied guard. He's gonna hit. Do some improvised weapon damage. Though he's proficient with blast balls. Yeah, I'll give him a D4. He's gonna slam this guy in the back of the head with a blast ball. Um, yeah. And then plus two for his strength. Um, the like candy. The, ball rules. the candy guards, without their master here to protect anymore, are gonna start swinging. Um, audacious candy guard is gonna flip a coin to see if he attacks Tether or Pete. Tether. He's got two attacks with his Morning Star. I know it looks like he has a spear, but I promise it's a Morning Star. <laughs> that is a 18 to hit. Yeah. All right, that is going to be seven points of piercing damage. Um, active Candy Guard will also flip. He's gonna attack Pete. He misses. And the last candied guard is going to attack Septon. It's a natural 19. Misses. Plus oh, well, what, some. Plus what? Yeah. What has he got? <laughs> Let's see, really? So that's a 24. That hits. Cool. 10 points of bludgeoning damage. Or piercing, because it's a morning star. Oh, they shouldn't have all gone. It just should have been the audacious one. Anyway, whatever. Una, you're up. Um. Uh. Have we? No, we've only dealt with that demon in a dream. Correct. Yes. Oh, yeah. We didn't know it was Septon. Right? You did. Oh, maybe you did. You were unconscious now, at that point, Taylor, I think. But Yeah. Yeah. But we you, know, but we know now. Shadow Septon oh, fucked you up in a dream one time, Una. Mm hmm uh, Do we know we just uh, do we have to mm -hmm. But we've never ki we didn't kill him in the dream. The dream You did. Just, oh we did. Well you knocked him out at least. Yeah. No, honestly, Una's frozen. Yeah, Una's frozen. Doesn't know what to do. Cool. All right, and then they'll take us to the top of the round with Everett. Tether, Canteen Pete, get out of there! Make make the dragon deal with those um those those little creepers. Uh, we gotta get you out of there. Oh no. Um. Oh, uh, what do I do? What do I do? Ooh. 
I'm gonna add Pete to the board. He doesn't have an icon, so I'm gonna have to figure something out. <laughs> get like a little a canteen. I don't have one of those. I miss so map tool when I could just spawn tokens. <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking glad you can. When you were map god. <laughs> That's really fun to just spawn shit. Uh, that doesn't, no, that doesn't I look like him. Canteen Pete. <laughs> That's Canteen Pete. Oh, no. There he is. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> I'm gonna change his oh, name. I'm gonna change his Mary name real quick. Stoneheart. Thing. Nope, it's Mary Stoneheart now. Don't you know? And he is small. Does... I guess I wouldn't... I would have literally no concept of this, but does the dragon have language? You don't know. You've never, you've know. never seen this before. You'd I mean, probably I have to take... Even, you'd probably have to take some that. time to... to think about it. Alright. Uh, well, I'm gonna chance it. And you can tell me if I can do this. Can I just holler at everybody like, Everybody look away! Can I say that? Well, I don't think we would be able to look away. You can use your you can use your reaction to look away. Uh, okay. If you if you want to use your reaction for that, I say that to everybody who can hear me. I step up on the bar, and I'm gonna try to stun again. Cool. Who's using their reactions? Arleth's using his reaction. I'm using my reaction. Yep. Yep. Cool. Wait, like, do I do I get an option? You don't really understand it, so probably not. Got it. Good. Cool. Okay. Uh, DC Wisdom save for anyone who chose not to look away. All right. That's gonna be Septon and the three chuckle fucks. Do I have the sudden urge to watch Raiders of the Lost Ark. <laughs> we got a natural twenty, a natural eighteen, and a wisdom. You say? A 12. Wait. So, a 12 fails. 20, 18, and 12. So the active candied guard is no longer active. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a 5. Woo! Yeah, you're All stunned. Right. I'm stunned. Which actually, Blake, I need to like DM you whether about an effect here. Yeah? Do it. Fucking do it. You won't. What? I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm gonna send it to you privately because I don't want to give. No, something I know. Away that's, I know. I. That's. <laughs> All right. Um. That's my turn. I'm gonna stand up there and continue to hold my cloak just, just to, you know, draw attention. Great. That. That's gonna make it. Look tethers. at my cloak of many colors. Look at it. <laughs> I'm Joseph. I'm just shimmy. <laughs> well, started my turn. I'm going to be overtaken and start ritually casting Gray's Dead. Yeah. <sighs> cool. On, um, oh, on, I should have um, stunned you too, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I didn't know there was dead bodies in here. Uh, yeah. On Pale Tuss Grandma right next to me. The, the tiefling, yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right, Canteen Pete is going to get the fuck out of dodge. She's going to bonus action disengage. And... Run 25 feet over here. Then he is going to dash 25 more feet over here. I didn't think Canteen Pete was living this one, so... <laughs> <laughs> we got him out! Uh, Sean D., he didn't get the potion, but we got him out. You don't know. He got something. Oh. All right. I'm going to guess just try to clean up the, the riffraff before we deal with the two much larger problems at hand. Move here and go for uh, active candied guard who is not very active currently. Yeah, he's stunned, so you have advantage on this attack. Yeah. Two... Uh, yeah, that's 24 plus 3, so that Oh, absolutely hits. Hit. Yeah. Uh, that'll be f 14 plus the additional 3 since I did not take it to my AC. Cool. And then, yeah, that's enough. As, uh, Sheko runs over and skewers this guy through as he's stunned and he just slumps to the ground, turns to ash as the lollipop goes out of his mouth. 
All right, Mr. Mr. Audacious is next. 26. 26 will hit. Dude. Um, 21 piercing. 21 piercing is enough to kill this one as well. So Sekiro boom, stabs through and then boom, whips the other one around, just cuts the back of the neck open. Pss, blood pierces out. Shandi, you look down at this fucking sick ass sword. <laughs> Feels good. How much does this cost? We have to give it back. <laughs> Costs a lot of money. <laughs> this, is a le- this is a legendary item. And I wish I hadn't gambled literally all of my money away. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Anything else from you there, Septon? You mean Shandi? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, nothing else from me. Cool. Yeah. Septon's stunned. Arlith is going to run up, grab his blast ball, and huck it at the other guy. Good job, Arlith. He's doing his best. He misses this time, but he tried. Uh, he's got he's got remaining movement, so he's gonna run up and grab the blast ball again. Um, okay, he's up. We're halfway through here. Una. Uh, you just... see, you see that spores are floating out of Tether's mushroom, like, and she's they're pouring out of my mouth, my nose, my eyes, <sighs> my feet. My feet look like they're kind of like buried in the ground, and it looks like I could be spreading roots underneath there. I'm gonna run up and start trying to pull Tether. What do you rooted? What do you do? You're rooted? Yeah, her her feet are rooting into the ground right now. Well, can I try? Oh yeah, if you want to try to pull her, make an athletics check. I'm gonna try something. No, totally, totally. Uh, strength. Athletics. Probably. Or athletics. Which I guess is the yeah, same, but... Yeah, seven. You're tugging at her, but... I don't care if it's successful. It's what she would no, do. No, I, I, li- yeah, I like no, that you yeah. did it. Okay. No. Okay. <laughs> All right. The, e- the eager candied card. <laughs> he doesn't have a brain, so he's just going <laughs> to... He's, he's just going to keep attacking the monster with advantage. Or just roll two twos on the die, so get nothing. That's, that's it. Everett. God damn it! Can't any of you, like, snap out of it? Um, uh, Everett's gonna, uh, jump in front of... Jump right in Tether's line of sight and holler, Ooh, to look away! And give you an opportunity to look away. And use the last casting that I have of this thing to try and stun Tether. So that, to stop this, stop this madness. Um, and also, hopefully, the dragon and whoever else is looking as well. Cool. So who's using their reaction to look away? Uh, is it everybody around him, or is it only in front of him? It's, a, it's everybody. Anybody who can okay. see him. Then I'll use my reaction. Cool. Septon, you can't yeah. use your reaction. Arleth will use ne- his reaction. I would never <laughs> use my reaction. You're stunned, so you couldn't even if you wanted to. But you still do get to make Correct. the save. Oh, I do make a save? Mm-hmm. To see if the stun re-ups. It's wisdom, right? Mm-hmm. And the eager guy isn't looking at you. He's looking at the other guy, but I'll have him make the save anyway. I got a so six. Three. Give me another round of cool. stun. <laughs> You're stunned. <laughs> Not only are you stunned, but also he's stunned. Cool. 18. What'd you get, Tether? 18. Oh, you succeed. Not stunned. Um, the can one I... person. <laughs> I need, <laughs> I need, some need to make it our... Do I need to make an Arcana check to know if this is a spell that Tether is casting? This is right. Yeah. Yeah. So the rule is you can use your reaction as an Arcana, as an Arcana check to determine spells when people start casting. Seeing as she's continuing to cast, you can use your reaction to make an Arcana check. Yeah. And 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 would I know that this is something that would require concentration to do, or? Uh, you you would know everything about the spell if you get a high enough Arcana check. Okay, doing it right now. Nineteen. This is um. What is it? Raise dead? That's the name of the spell? Yeah. It's not concentration. She's just, it takes a minute to cast. Oh, shit. Okay, so I couldn't, like, hurting Tether would not help. Well, she stopped casting it. Oh, okay. If you prevent her from casting it, she can't cast it. Okay, cool. Cool. Tether, I assume, I know how you're stunning your turn. You continue to cast Raise Dead. Sean D. Actually, I think I'm gonna drop it. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, um, I talked to my mom, and she was like, "Honestly, live your own life, live your own truth. 
Follow your own dreams. Mommy's retiring, sweetie. <laughs> I'm not going to be a problem for you anymore. <laughs> no, I, I want you to only visit me when you want to. What's happening? Just, we're right. just trying to try and hey. <laughs> Sheko's going to... Things are going move. pretty well for you guys, I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> no, there's one big... There, I'm, I'm unhappy with how this went. Yeah? Mel is alive. Yeah. That's a loss for me. Sheko's going to attack Mr. We're Eager. All right, advantage. My pick regret. Do, do, do. Twenty-nine to hit. Yeah, I mean, yeah, dude. I like this sword. <laughs> <laughs> and then a uh, fifteen piercing damage. Fifteen piercing. Are you adding the three to your damage as well? Yeah, it's not cool. on foundry, but I'm just adding it cool. good. myself. That, good. You should be. Yeah. This sword's fucking banging with Echo Knights in particular, huh? Because you yeah. can just not take the AC when you're using I, your guy and take it when it's you. Completely unnecessary, yeah. yeah. Um, He's still up. He's living. Okay, and then I'm going to use my movement to go up to, to Tether's side as well. Cool. You want to use your other attack? or? Oh, yeah, I get another one of those, don't I? <laughs> you sure do. Yeah. No, that was that was not an advantage, but it was a, it's a blast of twenty. So. Yeah, that'll hit. Unless you want me to go for the yeah. crit. Roll it again. See if you crit. Nineteen. Nope. Uh, normal. Or nineteen piercing damage as well. Nineteen piercing damage. It's still up. Septon stunned. Arlith is gonna just close quarters beam this dude with a blast ball. Yeah, Arlith. He hits. Arlith. He kills it! <laughs> oh shit! That's as he just really bad. as he just shatters a dude's skull with a blast ball. Una. Oh. I'm gonna grab Tether's hands <laughs> and say, "I'm sorry," and send like a. It's technically an attack, but mm -hmm. just send like a pulse of psychic energy into her. Cool, roll your attack. Also, Septon, roll 2d6 to see if your breath recharged while you were stunned. Oh, um, does that have to happen while I'm recharged? Every every turn, yeah. As a reaction on Bail. Una's turn, can Una make a con save? Yeah, as you start your turn. Okay, hold on. Will the con affect my attack or can I just... It'll, it you just matter. might take some damage first. So okay. do, do the... No, attack. 16? I don't think that hits you. 16 for the attack now, that doesn't hit you. Okay. Con save. I guess we can. Yeah, no. <laughs> five. Can do in here. Okay, five. Blake, should I roll 1d4 or should I do the like additional? If, you know what I mean? It's, it's your call. I don't know what, like, I feel like with this form, it's kind of like a symbiotic entity, so I'll do the yeah. both. Sorry, Chelsea. Fine, that's fine. Um, six. Okay. Points of necrotic damage. All right, that brings us to Everett's turn. All right. Um, Everett is going to holler to the group for starters and just say, I'm out of studs, so we got to get out of here. <laughs> um, and he's going to move... What or how many how many can I move? Let's look at the let's go to the tracker. Um oh it's here. So uh, if you move it counts it counts as you drag. Just see so you know. now now see now that's good. That's that's really quality that's quality stuff right there. I installed it just for you guys. Um okay, so let's go I'm gonna I guess I have to go around this dead body, is that the situation? Five. Yeah. There's Okay, 25 feet, 30 feet. And then from there, uh, Everett's gonna turn around and say, sorry, Tether, you'll thank me later. Um, and uh, magic missile, cause that can't miss. Cool. Um, Roll the damage cool. and then Tether, I need a concentration check based off of the damage you're about to take. Okay. All right. Um, and I'm going to do one of the magic missiles on Tether and then two of them on the dragon. Cool. Except them. <laughs> the dragon. 
So, uh, Septon, you will take six damage. And Tether, you will take five damage. So, concentration check, Tether. Gotcha, gotcha. One second, I have to make a funny joke. <laughs> have you just been sending memes to the campaign chat? <laughs> Not just that. Oh, okay. Um, I rolled... I rolled a natural 12 plus con. So you're still good. You're still concentrating. Gonna have to do it again. Damn it. Oh boy. All right, Tether, your turn is your turn. Shandi is starting his turn next to you. Hmm. Do you want to do your thing or are you good? Tether. Oh, oh, it, is it an, oh, it's a new it's turn. A new, it's a new turn, yeah. And Shandi is uh, beginning his turn next to you. Yeah, make a con save. Okay. 22. You're good. Cool. Well, I am sorry about this tether, and I'm going to make an unarmed attack and try to <laughs> punch some sense into tether. Okay. <laughs> Go for Stop it. Stop it. That's with strength, right? Yeah. Cool. You're not proficient with it either, so. Yeah, so it's just a straight up strength check then. Mm -hmm. That's a seven. <laughs> you punch her and it hurts your hand very bad, actually. <laughs> well, Sheko, why don't you give it a try? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Two. <laughs> So, Chandi and his soul both try to punch Tether. It's it's rough. I feel like we're focusing on me when there's a shadow dragon. Speaking of the shadow it's dragon, very interesting focus here. Oh, um, are you are you are you good, uh, Shandi? Um, yeah. Okay. Speaking Actually, of, wait, I'll, I'll bonus action just shift just because I haven't done that yet. And... Cool might be handy to have soon if I need to flee very quickly. <laughs> and you might. Shadow Dragon, your turn. Roll, roll that right, d6, see if your breath comes back. Let's see if the breath comes back. And we all this does not come up, back. Baby. This is a one. <laughs> but uh, I think I'm going to attack probably Tether? You got, Sh you've got Sheko and Tether in front of you if you want to flip a we'll coin flip for coin. it. Yeah. We'll flip a coin. Oh, just hit Tether, please! This is Sheko. Tether is tails. Thank you for doing this. <laughs> Not bad. That's tails. <laughs> All right. All right. We're gonna make two quick attacks. Well, two make really... make one at a time. <laughs> one attack. We'll make one attack. Because <laughs> Shaker doesn't take damage. So. <laughs> uh. uh is... Wait. This has damage. What is the claw attack? Oh, it's Dex. Okay. <laughs> Strength or Dex. And you are proficient, so I need to use decks. Yeah, you're 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 trying to kill these things as best you can. Yep. Oh right. I, uh, oh, I don't have claw attacks in. I, I'm kind of rolling. Roll, roll them manually. Yep. Yeah, I've been rolling manually the whole time. I that's think most a, of us are. That's a flash of twenty. My guess is Sheko's gone. That was Tether. That was oh. Tether. Rolled the attack. Tether. Twenty. Twenty. Tether. Yeah, Tether hit, it, it is hit. Okay. Then Tether it's... be hit. Tether do be hit. Uh, tether to use a dube. B. <laughs> Nine necrotic. Trying my best. Um, necrotic. Nine For necrotic. Fun, fun fact, I'm not resistant to either necrotic nor poison, which is weird to me. <laughs> All right. Um, Make concentration. Wait, concentration. I rolled a 16. Check. All right, still concentrating. Second attack. Second attack. I hate my Natural one. Ah, full on miss. As you rake your claw into the wall. Um, attacks on you are going to have advantage till the start of your next turn. Right. That is my turn. We are now officially halfway through Shadow Dragon <laughs> hours. Um, our list is going to sort of gesture at the both of them and look over towards you, Una. The both of... Oh. The shadow dragon and the the we plant just need lady. To get, just need to get Tether out. He's gonna pick up the ball and he's gonna <laughs> try to hit Tether right in the head with it. That could be worse. That is a 19 to hit. Yep. 
All right, <laughs> you're gonna take three points of bludgeoning damage. As I he, rolled an 11. As he blast falls you to the head, but it doesn't seem to matter. Sort of, so he just like boom, bounces it right off your head and catches it back in his hands, and that's all. Una. Uh, there's no, there's like no way I can roll anything high enough. That's the thing. Well, if like, if she rolls, if if you do damage and she rolls under a ten, she loses concentration. Yeah, but she's not gonna roll under a ten. It's possible. I could. <laughs> I, I don't have I, I look at the stats. You're not gonna do it. <laughs> I'll switch dice. No. Pink one. Also, I have to attack you first. But that's true. Uh, n no, a fourteen. No. I'll try again. Um, you, well, you're you're gonna get sneak attack if you do hit. If you choose to take it. How? Shanti, Arleth. Then why didn't I get? Oh, fuck! I had that the first time. Yeah, sorry. <sighs> no, sorry. It, it was lower. Cool. It was lower. Okay. All right, Everett. All right. Oh, Everett. Can't, can't team Pete left. By the way, he's gone. Hey, right, good job, can't team Pete. Do your job. Oh um, boy. <laughs> Everett's gonna pop out the shard of Alaris, and is going to focus on it, and decide to be impervious to necrotic damage. Good plan. And then Everett's gonna pull out his cape of many colors, and he's gonna run over like a bullfighter, and he's gonna be like, "Ah, you big lug! Look at me! Look at me! Get on over here!" Uh, one, two, three. Okay, that's twenty. Twenty-five. I guess Sheko's gone, right? So I can be right no, here. No, she Sheko's still there. Who's there? Okay, okay, then I'll be right there. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna just wave my coat. And, and just be as obnoxious as possible. Can I like make a performance check or something? Or... Yeah, go for it. Cool. To see how well I can get them to focus. Should on I roll me. something against this? Wisdom. Or... Wisdom save. Mm -hmm. Okay. What you got, Everett? Eleven. Fourteen. Yeah, doesn't doesn't seem to. He might attack you, but it doesn't seem to totally gather. It doesn't, I can't pull his attention, but you could roll for it and see if it happens. Yeah. Cool. Tether. How many rounds are we at? Um, this is the fourth. Cool. Shandi is starting his turn next to you. Tether. Roll a con save. Alright. Aren't I too? Not one. Well, I can only do one person. It's his. It's his reaction. Not one. It's gonna be some damage. That's seven. Seven. That's necrotic. fine. I can afford to take a little damage. I I took that one passive damage at the start of the fight and then have been useless ever since. So. Not, oh, you killed most of useless. the ads. <laughs> you've been useless. <laughs> I was I rode in as a spider, got hit, and then started. <laughs> got hit, got trapped behind a wall of fire. And then... <laughs> now you're getting shadow dragoned. Yeah. Yeah. Um, All right. Yeah, your turn. All right, guys, Shanti. we t posing out of this life. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna for real for real hit tether, but I'm not. I'm gonna take the plus three to my AC, so I don't. Hopefully, don't do too much damage. Sure. It's 23 to hit. Yeah. Pink I rolled a 13. How much damage? That's what a coincidence. That's exactly how much damage you're taking. Yeah, it's so concentrated. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 13 damage. Second attack. It's half damage or ten, whatever's higher. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, twenty-two to hit. Yeah. And damage is gonna be twelve. Concentration teller. <laughs> you could do one more. 
then this problem would be over. <laughs> I don't think that's going to be an issue in a second here. <laughs> I rolled a four. Concentration broken. Finally, you have, oh. slash into Tether twice and <clears throat> the spores <clears throat> fall limp to the ground and the body that was slowly rising up with mushrooms sprouting out of it <clears throat> once again falls. Oh, well, that, that one's... not looking good at all. Uh, Shadow Dragon turn. Get out of here, everybody. Run, run. <laughs> Let's roll a d6. Oh so I do not have shadow powers. That, that, honestly, breath. Breath. your breath has oh worked out God. pretty damn well for you. For, oh, for don't RNG. You that we're not out of here yet. Don't you jinx it. <laughs> well, let's see. I was attacking Tether. You guys want a Bonds of Truth is uh, Shadow Breath? Nope. Can you? <laughs> no, <laughs> you can't. <laughs> I was attacking Tether. Would I continue to attack Tether? That's your call. I... What do you think your uh, your lizard brain would do here? The the, uh, the meat puppet that looks the meat bag that looks like it's about to die, the one who's freaking out in the corner, or the the ghost the ghost man. Look how alive I am! Kill me! Kill me! <laughs> You gotta pray close to dead. You've got a weird thing in front of you. You've got a dude with a ball over his head. Um, and you've right, got how many a, people do we have here? a guy screaming around. We have six people here. Yeah. I'm gonna roll a d6. No, you know what? There's only four I would be interested in. Yeah, so just roll d4. Because if, 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 the, if the way you said it earlier, Blake, I'll use your words, I'm interested in the hunt, yeah. and I would not go after dead creatures. You would... Yeah, that's something we've discussed as well. So it's... If one of these is a ghost, and another I one is a... He doesn't, another, he doesn't look like a ghost. I'm not talking about Everett. Uh, yeah, the ghost in front of you. The one that looks like a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> and the other one is about to die. There's only four I'd be interested in. Hmm. Well, it's not dead yet. Fine, we'll put Tether back in the rotation. <laughs> If you I, insist, I think Blake. it's only fair. All you have to do is breathe on me. Can't breathe at the moment. <laughs> Unable to breathe. Oh, then I'm immune to all your attacks. <laughs> I kid you not. I applied a, a, a one to Tether, a two to Favilar, a three to Una, a four to Shandi, and a five to Everett. And I rolled a five. Yes! <laughs> yes! We're gonna step over here. We win these. Technically granting Tether an attack of opportunity. I took my reaction. Yeah, doesn't have okay. a reaction. Yeah. And then I'm going to attack Everett twice. Do I need to roll these? It does no damage. No. Actually, yes, well, because the impact will cause a concentration check, but... Okay. Can shard you have? The Shard of Alaris. Where was that from? 26 to hit? Yeah, yeah um, sure. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Make a concentration uh, check. You just gotta beat 10. Oh. And in that one. All right, again, so you slash it into him and it doesn't really connect and you slash too far and your hand once again gets caught in the wall, so advantage me, against let me, you. Let me, roll that, let me roll that damage on you, Tommy. It, I, have to, I, I haven't rolled the damage yet. I have to. You don't have to roll the damage. Oh, that's right. It does nothing. Yeah. Do, you... I get to add anything, do I get to add my modifier to the tent? To the yeah, it's a con it's a concentration check, so it's a constitution oh. saving throw. Oh, sick. Okay, cool. Eleven. Yeah, you're good. Just barely, actually. <laughs> but you're good. Um, cool. Well, that and is pickles. woo. That is Ramp. Shadow Dragon Septed's turn, and Arleth is gonna look to Una for guidance. Get out. This seems fine. Get out. All right. Oh, uh, can I, can I, okay, okay, uh, sorry, sorry. What yeah. I'm trying to do is like convince him to take the help action so he can help me start pulling Tether. What oh. he was going to do is try to pull Tether. So I'll, yeah, I'll call that fun. the help action to give you Great. advantage then. Cool. Una. Okay. You have advantage um, on the uh, athletics sorry. check. <laughs> and Tether, you now have the option to oppose it. Um, I, 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 I don't think I will. Cool. Wait. Between you and me, should I? I don't know. We no, you, you just, you're before. done, like, you're, the instinct is gone to do what okay, you were cool. doing. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Then, yeah, I won't. That, we, that is either, oh, I do have minus one on athletics. 17. 
17. Cool. Yeah, that's that's enough. You can start dragging Tether with our lift's I'm help. I'm tiny and frail. Yeah. <laughs> the two of you managed to start pulling Tether. You can get her your full movement speed. Okay. So you move where you want to go, and I'll move Tether adjacent to where okay. you move. Great. My movement speed, not our lift's. Well, technically, it's not his turn. He just sort of started right, right, it because right. he can't move where, from right. where he is. I'll put her there. Cool. Everett. Everybody get out of the room! Oh, what does it look like right now? <laughs> <laughs> I only shot at Arleth and, 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 uh, and Shandi. Um, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, run. Well, I guess I, I'm gonna use the disengage action. Mm hmm. Um, actually, I'll stay within, I can't, I, can I be in Sheko's space or no? No. 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 Okay, then I'm just going to block, I'm not even going to use a disengage action, I'm just going to block Septon off so, so that you, way I'm in this thing. You can move through Sheko's space via your incorporeal movement if you want, but. No, I don't, I don't think I need to do that. Um, I'll just, I'm just going to block cool. off the exit for him. Great. Uh, and then, wait, do I have any other things that I want to do real fast? Sorry. No, no, you're good. Um, Take your time. No, we're gonna hold. Actually, no. I, that's this is not the time for that. Okay, I'm done. All right, cool. So that will make it Tether's turn. I just real. I I don't have my now my newly attuned focus because I gave it to Septon when the plan was to distract. You did. Yep. Um, but I do have one spell that doesn't require material components that I can cast. Um, one second. And it's like, hey, you're doing amazing, sweetie. <laughs> we just need to get out of here. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Trying to be like, I know you just woke up, kind of, but you're okay. <sighs> you're safe. <sighs> I promise. <sighs> you're I'm, safe. I'm holding on <laughs> to you for dear life. Mm -hmm. Can, um, Accept and make a con save. Accept it? Yeah, accept it. Ooh. Accept rolls an 18. <laughs> okay. I was kind of trapped blindness. That's a good, that's a good move. I've never cast blindness successfully. Everyone makes their con save whenever I cast it. Yeah. Even though it's like one of the best fucking spells. Yeah. It's just yeah. the reason it's so good is because it's save or suck, so. Yeah, uh, but if you remember, Tommy, when you DM'd me, I used that spell to great effect. <laughs> yeah, it's one of the best spells in the game and nobody ever takes it, I feel like, except for, you know. You Ricky Tommy used said. it really, really well in a villain's campaign I ran for him. He was kicking ass with that shit. Tommy had a mini boss that just was blind and didn't do anything. <laughs> All right, Shundi, yeah. your turn. Wait, wait. Oh, sorry. For, for the rest more. of my turn. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to get the memo and cling onto Una. I'm going to drag Una 30 feet. <laughs> oh. You can technically drag Una 15 unless you want to make an athletics check to. I mean, I'll sure try sure. to add add another 15. We but just let's see. Yeah. I have a negative one, so that's Same. a four. Yeah, 15. Oh. You, you can get 15. You need <laughs> half your movement if you're dragging. One, two, three, four. Well, that's a stone pillar, so you're gonna have to go oh, around. Oh yeah, so one, two, three, four. And are you pushing? Yeah, we'll, we'll see when it goes to there. All right, Shandi. All right, I'm gonna start hustling as well. One, two, three, four. 25. 30. I'll stay here with the group for a sec, and then I'm also going to have Sheko. Is he within range still? He doesn't. Even if he's out of range, he does not disappear until my turn ends. Cool. So I'm going to have him use his movement to... Uh, reaction if you want it. As the, well, this thing, oh, yeah. this thing wasn't a target for you before, so is it a target for you now? The ghost. I guess not, really. Cool. Okay, and I'm just gonna leave him there as a second line of defense. <laughs> Great. For a pursuing Septon. All right, Septon. Roll for breath, and here we go. No breath. Look at this RNG. No breath. The RNG's good tonight. Let's make some attacks. 
on uh, on our boy Everett. The Wiggle Monster. That's cocked. That's on the floor. Reason to never die. <laughs> that really so violently. Is, uh, fifteen. Uh, yes, meets it, beats it. All right, so roll a concentration check before you roll the next attack. Fail. All right. Roll your second attack. Hey, next attack. 19. Hits. Ooh. Roll your damage. Doing a lot of math right now. <laughs> Nine. Nine points of necrotic damage. Nine points of necrotic. Oh, but you're a full because Arleth you're... destroyed his voice for you. Yeah, I was at over full, actually. Because thanks to Groff Groff Shanks. Oh, yeah. That is the end of my turn. Cool! Arleth is gonna Come on. Come on. He's gonna throw a blast ball at you. Oh my gosh. Except you're done. <laughs> I'm gonna kill Arleth, aren't I? <laughs> Maybe. Oh. He misses, so. Hey, <laughs> he's, then he's gonna say, fuck it, I'm leaving. <laughs> and um, run over here. Hey, what's Karth like th this time of year? The Bright Futures <laughs> might need to relocate. Karth? After yeah, yeah what's... It's warring, always at war, so not great. You got a Kruth, okay. though. That place is better. How about Kruth? Yeah. Kruth. Why the Let's fuck you got a Karth and a Kruth in the same universe? Because they were named by the same fleet of expedi- the same expedition. Boom, you just got lord. That's good. No, that's good. I'm glad you had a lore explanation. Yeah. I didn't do that on accident. <laughs> um, all right. Uh I will quick uh whisper to Everett and be like, "Thank you so much. We are getting out of here." Um whenever you can, buddy. And over and out. No idea what we're gonna do once we get out this door, but out to the civilian uh, populace, right? Close it and hold it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like honestly. Uh, I'll just keep running. Do I? Or no, no, no. Well, I'm still going with tether. You could right? let go of tether and run if you want to. Or tether, are you okay though? To yeah, run? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm up. I have one HP. Oh my god. Yeah, literally, when when Winfield did the 12, I was like, are you sure you don't want to do one more? Holy shit. <laughs> okay. I took all the damage I took was by my friends trying to hit me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. Or, and Septon. Yeah, Septon yeah, teleported yeah. again. Yeah. Cool, is that your move? Yeah. Everett. Shit. Okay. Um, Sheko's there. Um, but they gotta get out. Uh, would I know this isn't something that could be dispelled? You know? I don't know. You could certainly um, try. Hmm. Okay, uh, this is something that could be spelled. Perhaps distracted? It could be dispelled. Perhaps. You really don't know. Mmm. Or I could just fucking try to kill it. Um. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that, though. Yeah, I mean, let's give it a shot to spell magic. Alright. Um, so, I'm gonna need you to make. An ability check using your spellcasting ability. So that is an intelligence check for me. Me? Mm hmm. Okay. Uh. A two plus five, seven. Seven is not enough as you try to dispel the magic and the shadows don't even waver. Okay. Um. I leave now. We take an attack of opportunity. 
I can't use a bonus action because I don't have anything that does not that's not a spell. Um. Yeah. Uh. All right, everybody, get out. I, I'm gonna stick around for one more. Well, I'm just gonna take one more smack, and then I'm gonna boop on out of here. So don't worry about me, okay? I think I can handle one more, two more hits, and I'll I'll stay. Tether. Um, once more onto the breach. Uh, Septon, can you make a con save? You are blind, Mister. What did? No. Oh, what did he roll? A fifteen. Cool. All right. As the shadow um, I shore, covers the eyes. Swords shoot out of my hand mm. and then just act as a blindfold. Nice. Anything else from you? Um, yeah, I'm doing this. Oh, wait, that's a measuring tool, not a movement tool. Mm. So let me move. Tool, okay. I've done that so many times today. I know. All right. Next up, Sean D. All right. Um, I'm just gonna make a make a move. Cool. For the door. Twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. I'll just stop here behind them, and then Shaka will just go away. Cool. I'm just gonna delete him for now. Yeah. He's not coming back, probably. Septon, you're blind. What the? Roll for breath. Let's roll for breath. It's only a two. It's only a two. Good RNG. No only two. Good RNG. Um, Good bad RNG. I can't really make an attack if I'm blind. You can. can you can sense the presence there. You're just a disadvantage. All right. Yeah. And we'll make some. Um, uh, at the, uh, and at attacks. the end of your turn, you can make another con save. No. Oh, okay. Hmm. So, take a disadvantage attack on Everett. That's gonna be a fourteen. Just misses. <laughs> All right, another disadvantage attack on Everett. That's a eighteen. That will hit. Eleven necrotic damage. Okay. That is the end of my turn. Arlif sprints on down here. <laughs> Una. All right. Uh, Everett said he was going to try one more thing. So I'm going to believe in you, buddy. And pop out the door if I can. Yeah. You oh. all right click the door. The attempted token to movement collides it. with at least one wall. The door is open. Ah, uh, the scene you see outside is pretty chaotic. As the um, you see the now fairly injured, um, dirty Delvers fending off like f four gargoyles and like three what look to be dogs made out of caramel, just running at them. Oh shit. They're doing all right, but they're they're fending off a horde. And as you see, they've probably killed like 10 to 20 of them already. Oh, right. The the, the dirty dance. Yeah, um, which is why they didn't help. Do I see Canteen Pete anywhere? Not right away. You can use can your I... action to make a perception check. But he's pretty good at staying hidden. Yeah, fuck him. Yeah, fuck him, 16. No luck. Hey, that's it. Cool, Everett. Um, is Septon still blind? Oh, yeah. make no. Oh, did shit. you make another con save to see if you remain blind? Oh, I was not gonna remind him. I reminded him, and that, that he could at the end of his turn, and he did not choose to. Con save is a nine. He fails. Cool, 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 cool. Um, will he be able to take an attack of opportunity then if I if he doesn't? 
At disadvantage, yeah. It'll be a disadvantage. Or you can use your action to disengage. Um, well, I'm going to... Oh, this might actually be good, unless he gets his breath weapon back. Actually, it might still be good. Um, I'm going to Misty Step behind the bar. Uh, and take a nice little duck behind the bar. Um, and being... And just then I'm just going to be the loudest thing I can. Cool. Uh, and just be like, hey, you big lug. Look on over here. It's Ever Everett's favorite insult is big lug. <laughs> oh, see, if it's a big lug, then I'm going to call it a big lug. <laughs> he calls it as he sees it. All right. Tether. Some of these people are still alive, though, right? Yep. I'm ducking under the bar, by the way, just in case. Mo I mean, most of them are still alive. Only some of them have died. Only the ones with stone pillars on them are dead. Uh, do I have enough space? Yes. Uh, one second, I'm looking up some... Yeah, you're good. Take your time. Creatures. How is everyone, you know? Pretty good. This has been a really fun session. It took a direction I didn't expect. Your boss fight. My boss fight. It is, really. <laughs> well, it wasn't even supposed to be a boss fight. If you hadn't pulled out that fucking teleports behind you, takes you to no HP with one move. Mel was about to do some fucked up shit to you, but... You scared him off, so that was sick. That was awesome. I didn't expect that shit. Um. Sorry, I'm looking at beats. Shall. Are you gonna summon beasts? I'm gonna summon a couple beasts to help move some people out. Cool. Is my, is my, p -p -p plan. I don't have any beast tokens. I meant to make just a catch all beast for you, but I didn't do it yet. So. Yeah, I get you. I get you. I get you. I can't help but think that if we don't have the cure from Pete, then this is the second town we've wiped off the map. Okay, I summoned four black bears. <laughs> that's why That's why I was saying, maybe we relocate for a bit. Down. Maybe we become the Beach Boys permanently. <laughs> Uh, no, people will be hunting us. <laughs> I'm going back to the Shadowfell. <laughs> They'll never um, find me. <laughs> I summon four black bears, and I point out to them the living ones. Cool. And <laughs> they tell eat. them to. <laughs> no, yeah, they tell them to help drag them out. Cool. They start working on that. Anything else from you? Yeah, I'll wa I'll head out. Cool. Um. Oh God, I need to. Oh no, I need to name them. Um, they don't even have tokens. Don't worry about it. No, but I, I need to. Ugh, fuck, now I have to like make tokens for these bears. Um, Do I have any large creatures? Baron seen bears. I'm going to go look up some PNGs for you. No, no, no. I can't. I can't do that. I have a, I have a system. You can't put in the Baron seen bears? It's a whole Not process a to add tokens. The on map tool. Shut up. Just ask me. <laughs> what I had them. I could, well, I, I guess I could just bring in the default. Black bear. There you go. Lame, but whatever. Oh. The alpha female, Brutala, is her name. Great. I'll remember that for myself. Okay, so at the end of Tether's turn, it is Shandi's turn. A bunch of bears just showed up. <laughs> yeah, interesting. That's a, good, that's a good one, Peeps. Whoop. <laughs> Peeps back? All right. Septon. Septon. All right. Uh, I heard a bunch of noise. Let's Whoop. see if I have a breath weapon. I do not. So we're gonna lucky. walk over. I don't know. Can I even? If I don't hear, if I don't, 
If I can't see... You can head towards the noise, but... I'll head over here and, like, can't really make an attack. As you reach here, your foot steps on something soft that isn't making any noise. No, I'll, like, I'll, I'll, I'll throw an attack at it. Okay. I feel like if I'm, if I'm blinded and an animal... All right, make an yeah. attack roll. Advantage. So, regular, because you have this advantage? Yes, so regular. Oh, yeah, yeah, so regular. Okay, then I will re-roll that. Natural one. Yeah, you don't hit whatever's there, despite it not moving. <laughs> Throw yourself right. off balance. You have a second attack, but... You don't have to use I, it. I feel like I wouldn't. I feel, yeah. I feel like if I attacked something and I missed and I'm blind, and I would be like listening you, you for something you else. You attacked it and you missed and it didn't move. So whatever it is, it's not a threat. So All right, it's dead. Whatever. Um, Arlith. Yeah. Okay. Arlith is going to run outside in motion for shutting the door and shrugging his shoulders. Does anybody object to Arlith shutting the door? Oh no, there's bears dragging people out. He would have seen that. Yeah. Cool. So then he's just gonna step over here. Um. Everett, I'm just gonna unless you have something you really want to do, and I'm just gonna skip over you. Um. Uh, okay. Uh. Everett is, I think, get a chance at where he is. Can I? Ooh. Can I? Can I prepare Misty Step? Yep. Great. So I'm going to stand up on the bar, and I'm gonna I'm gonna say, um, "Hey, look at me! Look at me! You you nice looking dragon!" <laughs> um, and uh, <laughs> and, you know, just just to vary things up a little bit, since uh, you know, um, the peanut gallery was not appeased, and uh, and then he's going to prepare a Misty Step. Cool. Um, on the occasion that he is attacked by the dragon, he's going to Misty Step over to the stage over here. Great. Uh, Step, then make, did you make another con save to re get rid of blindness? Oh, shit. Um, on save. 12, so failure. Failure. All right, Tether, your bears are dragging people out. They get four people out and they go back in for more. Shandi, anything? No, I feel like Shandi's just standing by the door and taking people from the bears and yeah. help them or out the door. Or doing the same thing. Uh, Septon, you hear right. you hear that voice again from right in front of me. Mm -hmm. Roll right, for step I mean, roll for breath. Oh, roll for breath. That's true. Three. This is statistically very rare. What are you, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Um, I'll step around whatever the hell's in front of me. Yeah and approximate where I heard that sound. And we'll take a swing or two. And as you do, boosh, there's a puff of smoke as Everett's readied action goes off, disappears, I, and I, swing into air. basically my last spell. <laughs> I would assume that burns my attacks. Burns one of your attacks. Uh, how much I move? I'm five feet? Mm -hmm. Five, 10, 15, 20, you don't 25. Have, you don't have any sense of where it went, okay, though. I don't have any sense of anywhere it is. Yeah. All right, then I can hear bears moving. You sure can. <laughs> We're going 25 feet towards bears. All right. As my hit, foot hits the ground, the 10th round ends, and Septon steps back into the world. <laughs> well, Septon falls falls unconscious into the world. I don't think I that's did not true. No, it was a ten. Really? What's the thing. what's the words? Right, These are your words. Yeah, and I said them quickly over fucking Facebook Messenger two years you ago. Enter a shimmery rage that lasts for one minute or until you fall unconscious. Oh. Or yeah, no, no, you're good. Sept is back. The other one. Um, yeah, Sept is there. If you had hit one of my bears, <laughs> I would have been mad. Do I remember yeah, the last old. minute? You have no memory of the last minute. minute. I have no memory. Oh, shit. Well, I know what I did. Yeah, you, you remember giving control. That was control. a conscious thing to do. Yeah. Uh, and you look around and... Looks different. Everett, how did we do? You did so good, buddy. You did amazing. <laughs> and you're very scary. You're very scary. <laughs> we got rid of, we got rid of Pell and Mel. The, the antidote. Do we have the antidote? I don't know. I don't know. I think Pete got something, but I couldn't tell what. He was behind a wall of fire, and it was a whole thing, so... Where's everybody else? 
Uh, everyone's outside. The bears are the bears are friendly. Um, all right. Are there any more bodies? Or the yeah, bears there's, have them all. Bears don't have them all. There's a couple you can grab, including the one that you you didn't attack before. Septon looks candy? around, sees four bears helping. He's like, "Oh my god, they turned into bears!" Septon <laughs> <laughs> uh, Septon will hoist the body over each shoulder. Sure. You make you your way outside. Go? I'm gonna can go find drop tanks. Septon will just step outside to his friends as if nothing happened. So, dude. Like, how are we doing? Ew. Let me find Canteen Pete. Can I look for Canteen Pete yeah, for you the don't third have, time? You don't have to find Canteen Pete. As you all turn around and Canteen Pete. Pete's standing there and he's throwing a little vial up and down in his hands. No, do not throw that! I've got very good hands. <laughs> Listen, you could call this a Canteen, you know? Oh, Pete, you're the best canteen grabber in the world. Yeah, I am. Do with it. You, uh, I don't know, you got any, uh, alchemist friends? Yeah, let's find the alchemist guy. Uh, the where's alchemist. that, where's that person? As, as you say, do you have any alchemist, as he says, do you have any alchemist friends? And the, the last of the caramel dogs is being slain by your friends who look worse for wear, for sure. Um, you see rounding the corner the guy who went out to the alchemist store instead of the pregnant lady. And trailing right behind him, looking a little hungover, is everyone's favorite Solosian man, Grenet. And that's, no, no, no. Where, that's where we're going to end tonight's episode wait, of Dungeon right before, Yeah. Wait before we end, can Kelly just say, oh no, does anyone have a translator? <laughs> that's, yeah, that's where we'll end tonight's session of, uh, of Bright Futures. Shit, guys! Hey, that was kick ass! You did way better there than I thought. I thought you were going to die if you went in there. So you're good. Good job. An this epic success. Sucks. Honestly, this sucks. To do success on all. There were plenty of things no, you could success done. on zero things. <laughs> Mel is alive. You got the you got the <laughs> antidote. You drove Pell and Mel back. There's a million things you could have done. We, we successfully played the distract a dragon mini game. Yeah, it was good. It was good. You guys really, you guys really beat the shit out of Tether. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> There's a shadow demon and me just sitting there. You guys and also we just you guys wailed also... it. You could in your breath back at any time, and Wait. she was right in line. That's yeah. why we were trying to get her out. You, also, yeah. you guys True. also killed all the other stuff I could have focused on. Well, that was our list. Like, <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, you had to, we had to do something. He didn't know. Peter, you're talking that. There was an empty space when you teleported that would have hit both Pell and Mel and not me and Canteen Pete. He was in lizard he was in lizard mode, he didn't know. Lizard lizard brain, I gotta do a little damage or Blake will never let me use it again. That's true. That was probably the best case scenario for using that abil that, that ability right there. Honestly. Mm -hmm. You, God, you no. fucked no, it wasn't. It Mel wasn't. up. It was not the best case ability. Mel is alive. You weren't gonna kill Mel. I will be happy in this campaign. Though you when got Mel close. Dead. Can I be? I'm gonna tell you how much HP you had left. I don't want to know. That? I don't want to know. Oh. That. No. I don't. Oh my gosh. I'm just I mad at being kill him. You were close. You did a great job. Tell us that. He's alive. I didn't. Oh, why not? My emergence. He won't. Uh, he won't have that same HP when you see him next. You're fine. <laughs> yeah. Well, all I have to say is that Grofshanks. Better have done some fucking good for the community because god damn it, we could have used him in there. I, I, when I sent him away, I was like, oh, we got a full team. We got like five extra magic items. We're gonna be fine. Oh my All god. All I can think of is the plan and the entire, the emphasis, the overemphasis on let's not have a combat. And then we have a combat. And a combat, yeah. That's yeah. how D&D goes, though. Yeah, well, I mean, when they were gonna let the demon out, I was like, well... This, when they were gonna let of, the demon this out? This is kind of the end game here, so... Um, yeah, Balthazar's yeah. gone. I forgot about that. That was a really long time ago. Yeah. Grip. Hey, that is... I'll say that's the best thing that happened to us today. Balthazar, out of our hair. Okay. In in someone else's hair. <laughs> in someone else's hair, but out of ours. Y'all are insane. <laughs> I'm with Chelsea on this one. I, that's that's a very bad thing that just happened. No, no, no. Balthazar's our friend and always has been. Okay. Now sure. he's out of our hair. Yeah, the demon. <laughs> he yeah. looked at us like we were nothing. He that's did. not we are true. We no, are he, nothing to him. He, he did not decept and say it's been fun, but... Septon, uh, Balthazar and I have a special connection. No, you do not. You <laughs> do. I'm sorry, sweetie. You don't. That's a, that connection is one way. Septon has a parasocial relationship with Balthazar. <laughs> well, 
like. <laughs> oh god. Um. Anyway, that was a blast. That was a great combat, you guys. That was a lot of fun. Um. And yeah. we'll pick up. Fun. We'll pick up the sugar siege of Kelshar next time. I just had a thought. Yeah. If we if we make an antidote, we can have four riders riding the bears like they're Balto with the vaccine. How long does that spell last, Michael? <laughs> okay, can you just let me have my joy? Yeah, you can. There you can take that. Four wild bears. An hour. They're not wild. They're not wild. It's All right. An in any case, that was us. That was D and D. That was our 50th episode. Honestly, you guys, I'm glad that you went in and did that big climactic fight because I was worried that episode 50 was going to be like a build-up episode, but you made it a really good, impactful episode. And I couldn't think of a better way to spend my birthday than doing yeah, that me neither. with you guys. All right, we are going to raid Char. Why not? Um, But before we do that, if you're not currently playing a game of Dungeons & Dragons, you absolutely should be because... It's the only game in which you can have two of your party members <laughs> uh, go AFK and hurt <laughs> the party for a while in fucking brilliant RP, might I add. Um, so, yeah. In fact, you know what? That was so good, you all get inspiration for next time. That's right, I'm giving out inspiration. Hey. What, Chelsea? Why do you look so incredulous? You're telling me? Excuse me, Peter's giving that face too. <laughs> we get oh, I didn't, the he's, same he's, thing. he's blurry, I didn't see him. <laughs> yeah, you all get inspiration. You he's leveling up. Like three sessions ago. No, you're gonna, you, you finish the siege, you'll level up. That's, sorry, that's like, I don't wanna break your immersion, but you're gonna level up at the end of this. You're not done yet. <laughs> I can't level you up in the middle of it. That's I'm not how milestone. Bye guys. I'll see you next session with my new character. Well, uh, Septon pulls a turn. I'm out of here. Yeah, <laughs> we're all out of here, honestly. <laughs> right futures, no futures. <laughs>